Hey everyone, welcome yet again to another Saturday evening and oh shit! This is how we do. Uh, are we live as we just... We are live. <laughs> hey, can see my chest? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's see how what this happened goes. to Fonz? He dropped <laughs> out, I think. Uh, uh, oh dear, oh dear, I don't have a three person now. Um, <laughs> hi everyone, welcome to the audio podcast brought to you by StreamYard. Why did he drop? We'll wait for Fonzarelli to join us. Um, Put some... We're normally so professional. <laughs> if, I, if I open my shirt a little bit, then my, my chest hair <laughs> It was my fault. My fault completely. I tweeted uh, out the show and then I closed out the whole window. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything was gone. Everything. That's the way we're going to hey, start everyone. the show today. Uh, great. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> well, that's one way to break the ice. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Go Live, <laughs> the, the Saturday evening talk show brought to you by Game On Daily. And we have an incredible show with two amazing returning guests who I'm about to introduce. But before I do that, let's go through the motions. Introduce GameOnDaily.com, which will soon be the best, biggest, dankest gaming news aggregation site in the world. Someone please, please sponsor us or do something uh, before we sink um and uh, my co-founder co-host and co-buddy who also kicked my ass today at halo infinite easter how are you man <laughs> i am tired i've been doing i've been trying my utmost to help 343 test this game with theirs but they don't have this like unsociable <laughs> hours pay for me so i don't know why i'm doing it um into the small hours i'm very tired yeah. but i'm happy to be here because we've got we've got Franz, who everyone always loves here he's a he's a semi-regular that um everyone loves and we've got mike rose who's the single most requested guest since his last performance yeah. We get so many requests. When are you getting Mike Rose back on? That was an amazing yeah. show. So. I don't know why that is. on, Mike. Pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely I like know. some of Mike's takes, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Me and why I got eye to eye you here, Fonz. I think you and Mike will go to, uh, together, because you as well, Fonz, are not known to pull your punches. That's why yeah. I love you, man. I like that. It's why you two will have synergy i've declared it thank you everyone for uh tuning in please smash that like button if you're on spotify and apple play uh thank you for listening and tuning in um i want to go into introducing the gents uh asa has semi done it but i want to give the gents an opportunity to tell themselves a little bit about themselves and what they're doing fonzarelli everyone knows who you are but not really all the good people <laughs> i run a small youtube channel where i provide you know gaming news videos and stuff and uh yeah i've got a podcast gtl wearing the shirt here uh yeah games talk live do it every sunday 2 p.m pacific standard time and uh yeah have a great time with uh one-on-ones usually there sometimes one on two but usually one-on-ones but yeah, yeah uh, i've been playing a lot of games playing a lot of halo infinite this weekend that has been fun mm -hmm. so i'm sure we're going to talk about that later but yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um, yeah, we can go on to Mike here. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, Mike Rose, the famed director of No More Robots. One of the famed. most famed. Famed. You are famed. You are definitely famed. Uh, and you definitely left an Im incredible impression. It was such a good show last time by the way thomas sala the uh, developer behind the falconeer was gutted because he's actually going to a party today and he's like oh please send my regards to mike he actually wanted to be here so he's it's going to a real thing it's not good enough is it because he's not here 
So. It's not. It's not. It's not. I so did tell him he's that. Off, and he's, I... off my, he's off my Christmas card list now. <laughs> he doesn't mean that, Tomas. He's probably watching <laughs> us live. <laughs> um, but yeah, Mike, thank you so much. We are graced by your presence once again. Thank you so much for being here. I hope well, that, that's, you're that's, ready for the source. Yeah, that's, that's very nice of you to say. Yeah, it was it was enjoyable last time. Um, many, many fun things said. I feel like I accidentally made out like I was sexually attracted to Sonic the Hedgehog, but maybe <laughs> maybe this time I maybe this time I won't go that far. I, I mean I will say that Hold I've up. seen Sonic is behind you and I don't know if you've done that on purpose. Just for you. Uh, but um, <laughs> but I'm gonna be looking over in that corner of the screen far too often this stream. So uh, yeah. <laughs> you won't be one. able to stand up, that's for sure. Um <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much, Mike. Uh, and thank you again for coming on and your busy schedule uh, for coming on to the show. I wanted to touch base with you a little bit because, um, you know, we don't, you're, you are famed. You have achieved a lot and no more robots is a force. Not, it's very, it's very weird. Uh, not weird, but very rare to have someone who speaks so candidly, uh, yet, them being a director of a publishing outfit so when you so for the people who don't know and i did tweet this out just to remind people and people keep retweeting what you said it was so bold it took us aback it was about this point about game prices and 70 dollars or 70 pounds being an entitled price as you said um and i wanted to fonz is clapping uh i wanted to yeah, ask I mean, you has I your mean, stance look, changed or no, it's definitely it was, not did that get look, you in trouble for saying that no it did it all right it, here's the thing i i agree with you you know it is rare for for someone who is whatever you want to call it a ceo i'm not a ceo what like yes someone you who, are who, who, just say no, it no, 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 no i'm not gonna say <laughs> it. it someone who runs a video game studio it, it, it is rare to have it but but the reason it's rare right is the obvious reasons either the studio is uh funded by a bunch of investors who yeah. really don't want you saying that shit uh or <laughs> yeah. or or most of them are started by people who are who have been around the houses they've been around a while they've worked yeah. at, at playstation and xbox and that triple a studio and and so they they don't say this shit because um because they because they've been trained not to in the past you know I've met plenty of people who have worked yeah. at big studios where they've had media training. And so many people have tried to media train me. So many people <laughs> have tried to. I have been in so many times where people have been like, oh, well, Mike, we're going to have to give you media training. Um, <laughs> and, and and that's a media, what media training means is we're going to stop you from saying anything. That, we're going to muzzle yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, like, that's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah, it's... Yeah. it's uh, and, and arguably some people... Um, I think I'm in a I'm in a privileged position where maybe I I, I, I don't know I, I I have an understanding of enough stuff that I would like to arguably say I don't say as much stupid shit as the average like <laughs> person in a position of power or whatever. I mean, prove me wrong one day. But uh, I, I think I, I think just because of the situation I'm in, you know, No More Robots was funded. Uh, the, the money that went into starting No More Robots was nothing. It was my salary for a year. That was that was all okay. it was. And uh, our, our investor, uh, a guy called Simon Carlos, who uh, used to run uh, the Game Developers Conference and the Independent Games Festival and all this kind of stuff. Uh, he, uh, you know, he's he's the one who kind of made it happen with me. And he didn't really give a shit what I say. Like it doesn't matter to him what oh, I say. Oh really? So, that's that's no, wicked. Not, that's not, great. Not at, all, not at all. We're we, you know we're all. If uh, Simon Carlos actually like uh, runs this really cool uh, newsletter called Game Discovery uh, that okay. um, like tons of game developers read now. Um, so uh, and he just says whatever he wants as well. We all just say whatever we want. Uh, it's very refreshing, man. Well, obviously you gotta you gotta watch lines to step over. You don't want to piss yeah, somebody bridges. off and, and all of a sudden have all of your games removed from a platform but i think as long as you're you know well meaning with some of the things you say uh your heart's in the right place yeah 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 then it's usually fine sometimes. so you you're telling me no one came at you no one said anything i was like oi mike you're a bit 
saucy in that last some, bit. Some people say things. Yeah, some people come to me. Uh, not over the price point thing, because I don't think anybody oh, yeah. disagrees. Oh, I, yeah, I, I honestly, yeah. I don't, I honestly don't think there's... I, I think you'd struggle to find <laughs> anybody don't. who disagrees. The only people who disagree are people who are desperately trying to, you know, justify it. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anybody who truly disagrees that video games shouldn't be $70. There's other things that I've said in the past where, like, a week later, I'll get a call from someone, they'll be like, oh, we wish you hadn't said that. And I'll say, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I mean, well, who asks, uh, honestly, who asks to pay more for a product? I mean, yeah, as a consumer, yeah, yeah. I don't. I never will. I, yeah. I won't say, I want to pay more for that. Please. You know, nobody does. Mm. Yeah. That is yeah. stupid, but well, I, I guess it's just weird. It's the whole thing, right? It was the whole argument. Games are costing more to make now. I, I mean, I said last but, time. And, yeah, and games are no making more. No one at more. your level has said that. No and one and games are making more as well, that. though. Uh, yeah, well, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, and, and at certain AAA studios, they're able to keep selling the same game for many, many years. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that the GTA V trilogy is coming out soon. Oh. Uh, the PS3, <laughs> PS4, and PS5 version. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's it, it's it's crazy how far can they I, can take some yeah. of these games. Can out. I ask you a serious pricing question? Mm. When you are when you have a, a game coming through, so a fashion police, descenders, whatever it may be, yeah. at what point during the development cycle do you do you actually say it's going to cost this much and what kind of informs mm. that? Yeah, uh, sometimes a few days before we launch it, Ge like genuinely, oh. <laughs> we, we we pick a price point. It, it's not a thing that you that you have to kind of you know decide on until the last minute. A lot of the time, it's very okay. obvious for us. A lot of the time, uh, you know the the visuals will will drive it. So a lot of the time, if it's a if it's a pixel art game, it's probably twenty dollars. You know, it's it's oh, probably twenty dollars. Okay. Sometimes you can go higher. Um, Chucklefish just put out Eastwood, uh, absolutely gorgeous pixel art game. I want to say they're charging thirty dollars for that. Uh, sometimes you can justify it, but a lot of the time, uh, honestly, a lot of the time for us, that it it it's quite obvious to us uh, how much we should charge. Visually, no, the visual that, thing is the is that self published? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we, well, ours or, or Eastwood? Yeah. Uh, because I'm, I'm wondering, like, with most games, like, you look at AAA games, who yeah. actually picks the price? Is it the publisher? Is this agreed upon uh, between developer, publisher? The, the, it'll be it'll be a lot of different things, but a lot yeah. of the time, um, it, it will be, yeah, there'll be higher up people who have decided and they'll have worked out a bunch of stages, you know, they'll have oh, worked yeah. out, here's the base price. The, 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 in those studios, they've worked out DLC for the next two years, you know, so they've already worked out, <laughs> right, well... The game is yeah. eventually going to cost one hundred and fifty dollars, mm -hmm. so yeah. we know that we can go with sixty or seventy dollars now. We can tank the price really quick now because we know in a year's time, people, even if they're picking it up at fifty yeah. percent off, are probably spending sixty dollars still because all the DLC yeah. put out. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, you have mi microtransactions that might be something. Lovely, in, in lovely microtransactions, yeah. Yeah. yeah, for me that's yeah. Like, um, like a problem with AAA development is it, it was you get the feeling that they set the price and then they try and build mm. the content to fill out that price, and that's oh, what we're trying sure. to do. So I'm uh, for sure, so happy it, to AAA, tri AAA for sure has. Um, I was going to say in recent years, but it's been like this for years, isn't it? Like mm. how many times have you been playing a game and it goes on too long? It goes mm. on a little bit too long, yeah. and, it, and and it's just doing the same thing over and over again. And then they're just, yep. oh, you need to now go back to. I basically play through the whole game again but we've worded it slightly different and you're playing the chunks in yeah. different orders and, and yeah. sometimes it works don't get me wrong sometimes you know there's uh, i i love uh, i love destiny destiny uh, you know i love destiny 2 playing through that it was great <laughs> but i was playing the same game over and over again for 100 hours uh, yeah. yeah you know one thing i love that they do is they pad a game out so much toward they'll show you like a cool costume that you may want to get right and they'll say okay but you have to basically beat the entire game before you can unlock that costume or you could buy it right now for 10 bucks yeah you know and it's like yeah, eh, yeah. come on yeah i've, yeah, I've that... you know i i've fallen for that a few times i uh i play i play valorant uh a lot i play Valorant. it's, it's fucking great and uh whenever they put an agent out pisses me off when other people are playing with the agent <laughs> and i know it's good and, and, and the thing is i don't have loads of time to play video games so it's yeah. gonna take me two three weeks to unlock this new agent 
and I'm just yeah. like, fuck this. So I end up spending like <laughs> yeah. seven seven quid or whatever it is to buy a fucking agent. And then I play them for two games. And I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> and then, and then I yeah. Go back to them, yeah, so it, it I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna repeat one of my least favorite Gaz stories. Where so he, he's yeah. big into Apex Legends, and they have yeah. these heirloom items that are designed. You're not supposed to be able to buy them. They're supposed to be prestige thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, and one day I turned around and told him my 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 at the time nine year old son got the heirloom that Gaz wanted, and something inside him broke, and he spent so much money <laughs> trying to get all it that he didn't get. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It was 150 was quid. It? I didn't get it. Oh. 150 quid for the one. It was the wrong one. Which, <laughs> I which, I was which, get that you, one. which heirloom were you trying to get? The octane, uh, oh, little, yeah. you know, the little hand yeah, thing. Because I play yeah, octane yeah. main, so the Bangalores. I barely play Bangalore. I thought yeah. if I buy, you know, those seasons that they yeah, not unlock. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. buy all of them. I have a choice of which heirloom <laughs> I get. I'm like, uh, that no. was a bad mistake. I've spent yeah. over a grand on Apex Legends and I still haven't got that heirloom. I've got three yeah. and two of the players I don't even use. They're stupid. Uh, yeah. I'm stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, I am stupid <laughs> when it comes to that. But it, you're right, though. It works because time yeah, it does, it is does. something you will buy now. Like, yeah. I'm not going to spend grinding on Valorant. Valorant, I spent, I bought that dragon skin the, the day it came gun. out on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the whole pack, the whole pack, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. ugly when you look back at it. Yeah, I'm is, an idiot. It is. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people bought that and regretted it. Yeah, yeah. I regret my, it. My, my, uh, so yeah, my my wife bought the fan. You know, there's like a knife that's a fan. Oh uh, yeah. And she bought that. I, I'm not gonna say how much she spent on it, but it was it was too. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you what though, she's getting her mileage out of it. Every time that she gets like a clutch or something, and every she knows everyone's watching her, she presses that button, the little yeah. fucking fan comes out. <laughs> she, she likes to do that. Yeah. Uh, we are part of the problem. We are yeah, part of the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, Mike are part of the problem yeah, <laughs> in the always. world. You are a problem to developers, yeah. to corporate America, to America. I bring America up because you have a very, very bold game. That was smooth. Come I, like I was that. watching the... Was yeah, really you like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and when this got announced, I'll be honest, I was sitting there with popcorn, watching this shit show, watching you. I knew, I, you told me, you told all of us what you're like. When someone tries to shit on you, you lather yourself in their feces because you love mm. the hate. And I'm turning into you. I understand mm. what that feels like now because it's almost like empowering. I'm talking about a game called Not Tonight 2. Not Tonight 2 is a game that's very bold and... With the betas out, I actually download the demo. Uh, and uh, Asa's gonna probably do his magic, but if I tell him to do it, he won't do it because he's not that <laughs> obedient. Uh, but Mike, can you tell our viewers who don't know what Not Tonight 2 is, what yeah. is that about? Yeah, well, N Not Tonight in general is a is a series of games that is heavily inspired by the glorious Papers, Please. Uh, if, if, any, if any of you watching have played Papers, Please, uh, which is, was essentially a, an amazing document uh, check-in game. Uh, and uh, so a few years ago, uh, being British and not a twat, uh, we were quite angry. We were quite angry about Brexit happening. So, uh, <laughs> so a lovely studio called uh, Panic Barn, run by the wonderful Tim Constant, uh, we made a game called Not Tonight Together, which was essentially uh, a, a Brexit bashing simulator, and it was just—it was a lot of fun. It made a lot of people angry. I fucking loved every minute of it. And then last year, I had a dream uh, where. There's been so much shit going on in America, and I had a dream where you had a dream shit, and America I, that there's someone else who said the, the, that at one yeah, point. The, well, yes, there was. <laughs> but I, I, uh, there, I, I, I just woke from this dream one morning, and I literally dreamt that like a lot of what not tonight would look like in America. Uh, yeah. Talked to Tim about it. We found some amazing uh, American writers. Uh, who would be in the... The main thing was we were like, we're fucking British knobheads, we can't write this. So we found some amazing <laughs> people to to write the story of America. Uh, 
and thus not tonight two was born and uh it's yeah we announced it a couple of months ago there's a demo on steam right now if you go on steam uh you could download the first yep. hour of the game it's coming out very soon and i'm just massively excited to make a lot of people very angry <laughs> what is it about for people who don't know so the, because you might get dissenting opinions in chat yeah, we have yeah, a big I, american I, I, audience I, I won't spoil too much of it because it goes off the rails a little bit but it, what, <laughs> i like that with not tonight what we did was we took real the real britain and then we turned it up too many notches so we like okay. we, we basically went ott and we and we're like we just went hard dystopian and so that's yeah. exactly what we've done here so we've taken america uh you you've got a, a little band of people one of them gets picked up by a group of people who definitely aren't ice and taken to a gulag <laughs> and you have to then three your three friends your three remaining friends they have to road trip across america uh to essentially pick up their birth certificate and their passport and get a load of documents and take it there before they're deported uh and along the way you see ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous things. Uh, parts of the US have been annexed by Canada and are now under Canadian law. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Mount Rushmore is now Camelot and uh, only <laughs> only knights and wizards turn up. Uh, there's a whole... Uh, New York City is now underwater. There's, uh, there's, there's, there's just a lot of shit going on in this game that is yeah. ridiculous. The one thing I'll say is that when the original Not Tonight came out, loads of people were like well it's a funny game but it's all clearly bullshit like none of this is ever actually gonna happen and if you take a a, a list of all the things that we joked about in not tonight one and look now about half of them have actually happened now like, <laughs> I, get, I get linked all the time people on twitter being like is this you like the simpsons is this you know, yeah, yeah we've literally predicted <laughs> so many things so like a lot of the stuff that's happening in the uk right now with all the shortages and stuff we joked about yeah in not tonight and guess Crazy. what? Here it is. Here it is. So, uh, if you so, want yeah. to know what happens to America, it's you when's the game coming out? If you want to know about out? the definite, <laughs> definite future of America, then just play Not Tonight. Uh, it's, it's coming out extremely <laughs> soon. I, I think we were planning to put it out in November. I think we're gonna, it's, I think we're gonna push it to January now because I want to uh, inject a, a, an extra level of bullshit to it before we put it out. Uh, so, oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna push it a little bit. But uh, yes, very, very soon, which is which is very pleasant. We yeah, average studios like, oh, That's we're good. delaying it to apply polish, but here we inject bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I just want it to be extra uh, bullshitting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's good. That's your vision. You call it bullshit, but it's really just madness. It's a little bit more LSD laced into your game, and your games yeah. are a bit... Well, crazy. most of our, just yeah, good. most of our games are dystopian slash comedy. Perfect. Slash ridiculous. My, I, I would I would argue a lot of our games. I'm we're trying to piss off at least somebody. Uh, yeah. It's, Alvin it's, says the game sounds like it's filled with sauce. That's exactly how to describe it that. Very game. much is yes. It very much. Is. <laughs> it, the the funny thing with not tonight was that like I think um, because it was about the UK and about Brexit. The truth is most of the planet don't fucking know what brexit is they don't give a shit i don't blame them why we don't want to know yeah. what brexit is why would they want to know so, <laughs> so a lot of people yeah. playing not tonight were like didn't uh you know they they enjoyed it they enjoyed the gameplay but maybe they didn't, didn't pick completely up. completely get it uh yeah I, I feel like this time around let's be honest america is the center of the universe isn't it so it, it's yeah. it's it, you know americans are gonna get it we're gonna get it because we have yeah. America shoved down our throats every fucking day. So, yeah, it, it's it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. wait for that. Everyone in chat, if you got it on PC uh, and soon Steam Deck, get that game. Uh, very quickly, I want to get your thoughts on the Steam Deck, Mike, because you were lucky yeah. enough to get hands on with it and play Descenders even. How is that thing? Because I've ordered one. Uh, yeah. So basically, it's it's exactly what you think it is, pretty much. It, it's yeah. the, that's, that's honestly good. the best way to describe it. It's uh, it. it's it's just a handheld, you know, like the whole like Steam Big Picture when you put it into Big Picture mode. It, it's it's not yeah. Big Picture anymore. They've updated it so it's like a new version of Big Picture. Uh, oh, okay. but it but it is a handheld Steam. Uh, that's got the it's got pros and cons to it. It's still, if you could tell, it's a PC. Do you know what I mean? 
Uh, oh, okay. Like, you know, like when you play on a PlayStation or an Xbox, uh, it's like a, you can feel like it's been hard tailored. It, it doesn't feel like you're playing on a PC. It feels like you're okay. playing on a games console. This feels somewhere in between. You can feel that it's a PC uh, that's, that's oh, running on a handheld. Okay. And, and for better or for worse, you know, some people for some people that's the dream. Like that that'll be yeah. music to their ears. But other people, you just want it to not be a ball ache, don't you? Do you know what I mean? Like because yeah, you know, that's what I'm thinking. When I'm yeah, I, I'm I, don't get me wrong. I like PC gaming, but it's a fucking farce sometimes. When so like just some, when something won't run, or it needs to download yeah. some dependencies, or it's just you're clicking the play button on Steam and it's not fucking going, and you don't know why, and you have to <laughs> yeah. restart it, and apparently that'll fix it. Um, yeah. yeah, it has every it has all the pros and cons of a PC, basically. But in okay. handheld, so. Uh, but I, I've been That's surprised good. by how like how powerful it is. You know, um, it it seems I've been playing. Uh, I tr I've tried playing some classic games on it, and it runs fucking smooth. You know, nothing too intensive. Oh, I've been playing things like I, I was playing Portal Two on it. Uh, you know, okay, that's quite intensive. For uh, it's pre yeah, a pretty old game now, but but it felt great. Can it run uh, Crisis though? Do you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what I, forgot, I forgot to try. Uh, but although maybe <laughs> at this point I should be trying. Isn't there a cri isn't there a Crisis remaster now? Mm. Uh, How about a Red I Dead Redemption Two? Oh, I've not tried that. I've not tried that. That's gonna... Yeah, that's a good but, test actually. Yeah, I, I can be asked to download that game. Do you know what I mean? How big is it? 150 gig yeah. or something? <laughs> yeah, it yeah, about something. Five sweet. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, Hogan but no, Chani, it's, it's thanks nice. so much for the two. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Hoggy Chan is asking you, Mike, is not tonight two coming to consoles or Game Pass? Uh, <laughs> it's definitely coming to Switch. Um, mm. I am going to guess that it's not coming to Game Pass. Uh, okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that Microsoft are probably <laughs> not going to put a game about the apocalypse that is America <laughs> onto Game Pass. <laughs> um, so uh, we might put it on Xbox, but uh, I doubt it'll be on Game Pass, to be honest. Yeah. I think if I showed yeah. it to someone, I've not even showed it to the Game Pass team because my, oh, yeah. my assumption is they'll be like, no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> so, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, one of the big reasons I invited you, other than the fact that we love you, is we have had some quite serious talks about, Fonz is no, going to know what I'm talking about here. Um, that's why I want to get both of you gents on here to get your views on this point. The industry is changing for better or worse. We had a previous guest of ours, um, Colin Moriarty and Dustin Furman of Lost Stand Media. Shout out to them. Massive respect, irrespective of my video, which really was taking the piss out of them, but in a funny way, self-deprecating humor. I'm in a straight jacket. It's satire. I'm mental. Satire. There's satire. That's what it is. It's satirical. But there was a little bit, a little bit of truth. There's some points of why I thought were like maybe not the take was that great. Of course, there's but, always truth in satire, Gaz. That's, that's the beauty of satire. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That that's yeah, very poignant. That's exactly what it was but it wasn't meant maliciously i jumped in dustin Furman's tweet uh twitch today and i was like yo we're all good yeah <laughs> but um it the the point that they were making and i wanted to get your view on both of your gents uh mike if you can lead with this i want to get fonz's view after as well is this point about consolidation in the industry in the gaming industry uh particularly this generation we've had sony's X movie boss saying expect that to happen a lot of people are pissed off that xbox is this woke giant now swallowing up all these publishers or about to the impending doom of the industry and then we just had playstation acquire multiple studios this year blue point being announced yesterday day before um and i just want to get your publisher viewpoint on that one part of it is, are you like, hey, Microsoft, give me money, uh, take us? Or uh, what does that feel like to you as a publisher for the long-term health of the gaming industry? Yeah, it's, um, interestingly enough, it's actually a similar conversation 
to what has just been going on sort of deeper in the industry for a while because um mm. outside of the of what you've just described it's also happening in in other places that you may not be aware of there's um there's quite a few big kind of conglomerate companies who are essentially eating the game industry alive right now uh and oh. and uh, and gobbling up studios everywhere uh you, you you might have heard of some of them there's there's one that you may have heard of called embracer uh yeah who uh who seem to you know you get some studios who every month you'll hear they've acquired this studio they've acquired that studio embracer whenever you hear about them it's they've acquired these 22 studios they've acquired these 14 studios like it's they are yeah. eating every studio and, it, and it's not just them uh, and and, and, be, and before I continue with this, I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing. And to clarify, it's it's more that uh, this is a thing that's going on on a lot of different scales. Um, Tencent in the, course, in the in the gaming industry. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, Tencent, you know the 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 sort Tencent of gigantic uh, Chinese studio. They are for a while they have been uh, eating studios Pac-Man style, and and uh, <laughs> it's. And, and the thing is, um, it's it's difficult. It's it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit like how how publishers work in a way. So you know, you get for, in my view, you get two different types of publishers: game publishers. You get game publishers where they are publishing they're, they're kind of publishing a medium number of games, uh, okay. and they are relying on a lot of those games doing well. Or mm. you get these other publishers, which I'm sure you could name, that that publish 20 games a year or something for a bunch of different studios and th there's no way that those publishers thought to themselves and we're going to make every single one of these games do well Wh what they do is they publish like 20 games they announce them see which ones do really well and then focus on those ones and uh -huh. let the other ones and they'd never say this publicly of course they wouldn't but they they let the other publishers uh, they let, 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 let the games that don't do as well slowly just die off a little bit you know and and then everybody wow. remembers those publishers as oh they're the one behind these five smash games but then yeah. there's 20 other games which they left behind and abandoned and, and there's a lot of hot sad developers back there it, there's a lot of parallels between that and what's happening right now where uh, massive conglomerates are buying up fucking loads of studios That's and they crazy. only need a small number of those studios to do well uh, and That's it, not and good. If they do well, they make shitloads of money, and their investors make shitloads of money, uh, and it doesn't super matter about the ones that didn't do as well. Um, mm. So it's uh, you know some people would say doesn't sound positive. Some people <laughs> the way would say, you said it. That's how money works. Uh, <laughs> other people, perhaps like myself, would say it's a bit grim, uh, but it's currently it's accelerating a lot i would say uh this yeah. this thing that's happening and and yeah and publicly you're seeing it with uh you know sort of microsoft and sony buying loads of studios and stuff um and uh and again i again i want to hard clarify here i'm not saying either i don't think either what either of those are doing is bad it's just it's yeah. more that that is just the the thing that both microsoft and and sony are doing right now is part of like a bigger picture of what's happening in video games right now. That okay. is perhaps a little bit scary. And, yeah. And sinister in a way. Um, yeah. Fonz, that yeah. what Mike has just said there. I haven't heard that before because we learned that today. <laughs> Does that sound positive to you? Because it sounds like, because I wasn't aware that publishers buy out loads of titles, uh, loads of studios, sorry let out titles some left inevitably to die do you think that's a bit worrying to you i think you? that's what it comes down to is the specific publishers that we're talking about here and yeah when when we discuss like the situation with colin and uh dustin shout out to those guys really love those guys watch yeah. them all the time I, I love sacred symbols i love those guys Same. but um yeah. I, I think they were a li little off base a little bit when they were talking about the situation um, but as Mike was saying here, with some companies like Tencent or, you know, Embracer, 
Yeah, these are groups that are buying tons of, of different development teams. And yeah, if, if some, you know, if they decide that they don't want to use some or they want to make some cuts, uh, they'll, they'll do that. They're, it's pretty cutthroat, right? They're just trying to grab a whole bunch of stuff to try to put a lot of stuff out there and see what sticks probably. Uh, but That's when you're looking at certain like things it. like, you know, what they were talking about, Dustin, in this case, which was Microsoft versus PlayStation. That's really yeah. what they were getting down to here. Yeah. And in this scenario, I would say that for me, it doesn't bother me in the slightest if the, both of these companies pick up teams because they're yeah. trying to use these teams. They're not looking to get rid of teams. That's the difference That's here. Like it, it doesn't, this, this is not necessarily what's happening here. However, yeah. one side of the coin really can't afford to pick up too many big teams. Like they can't look at PlayStation. Like mm -hmm. you're not looking at Sony and saying, yeah, they could have afforded something like a Bethesda because they simply yeah. couldn't. Uh, Microsoft has the capital to, to do so. But the question about consolidation and, and is it a bad thing? I would say that no, not, not in some cases. In some cases it would be like with any kind of business out there. Like a lot of people yeah. worry about certain businesses gobbling up other smaller businesses because Oh, the evil empire. You know, we, we talk about EA sometimes in the same regard, you know, because yeah. they've cut a lot of teams as well. They've bought up smaller crews and then, bam, those dev teams are gone years later. Yeah. Look at what they did to BioWare. Westwood. I mean, you know, BioWare is not the, it, it's, it's a shell of its former self, essentially. Yeah. But I think what Microsoft and PlayStation are doing, uh, are doing is just fine in this. Because uh, if you look at the word, even just consolidation, the word, I mean, yeah, it means to, you know, bring together and, and uh, put them all in one place, but also it means to make stronger. And yeah. that is okay, essentially yeah. what these companies are doing here. When you look at both Microsoft and PlayStation, PlayStation with Insomniac, they've only built them and made them stronger. Let's be honest. Yeah. They've made them stronger. Uh, Microsoft is going to do the same thing. I mean, right now we can only look to, say, something like t uh, Tim Schafer's Double Fine and Psychonauts 2. He says flat out, the game wouldn't have been as good had they not been picked up by Microsoft. Yeah. So, I mean, this is coming from the man himself. So, yeah. I, I mean, I can only see this happening for Bethesda, uh, the uh, all Arcane Studios, the rest of the guys there at the ZeniMax. Uh, I, I just think you, you have to take each case. Uh, it, it's got to be a case-by-case case basis here. You got to yeah, look at yeah. each I one and say, which companies... I think it's a far cry from Tencent and Embracer, yeah, right? Yeah, what, what is their intentions here? Look at their track record here. I don't think it's a bad thing. I really don't. Yeah. I, and I think that yeah. when they were talking about this, you know, it was more along the lines of looking at Microsoft as what they once were. And it wasn't that long yeah. ago. Microsoft wasn't really putting out much content, but I think yeah. you've got a different Microsoft here. They, they're really trying hard with Game Pass and they want to see this succeed. And we all know that Game Pass needs a lot of content, a lot of good yeah. content to be able to keep, you know, moving forward and getting subscriptions and how does that happen if you don't try to get more studios? Yeah. You know. No, absolutely. It's that, a, like some necessity. It. Mike, I don't know if you follow all this stuff. You're a busy man. But just to wrap up what Fonzo was saying. Fonzo, yeah, I know you don't. But uh, so basically there was a bit. I think there was a bit. I thought it was a bit overblown a little bit. But it's people take it seriously. And then I, I made it worse. Um, <laughs> we... That doesn't surprise call, me. <laughs> yeah, you should not be surprised. I'm a shit stirrer by nature. I was born this way. Um, so Dustin Furman and Colin Moriarty were saying they were getting visibly pissed off by the notion that Microsoft... Because there were rumors that Xbox or Microsoft might swallow up Take-Two with it comes Rockstar and Grand Theft also. Imagine that exclusive to Xbox and PC. And they were pissed. And that led to a kind of rant on all sides about consolidation is bad in the industry. Microsoft has a bad track record. What's your view on uh, if Xbox acquired Take-Two and Rockstar along they, with it, obviously? What, what, so what? They were, they were pissed off that the games wouldn't be on PlayStation anymore? Yeah. Yeah. They said it would be an egregious... Oh, heinous. heinous. He's, it was the word. Heinous. heinous. Be heinous. Hell. Very strong. <laughs> I mean, who gives a shit? Like, I, I mean, <laughs> look, right. The, the Bethesda thing happened, right? And I remember yeah. seeing the Bethesda news and 
not even double taking, like quadruple taking. Like this has to. I, I actually saw it. Really? I saw a tweet about it, and I, I went, "That's a joke." And I put my phone down. And then an, an hour later, I saw loads of people tweeting about it, and I realized, "Fuck, that was real." Because you know <laughs> that, that I never, I never believed in a million years that would happen. But it Fester, still hasn't hit me. No, uh, honestly, it's, like it, it, it still hasn't ridiculous. registered. It, it's interesting as well how since Microsoft did that, it's now. I don't know what was in all the contracts and stuff, but it's been interesting to me how now there hasn't been like a Microsoft showcase been that since then. It's always the Microsoft and Bethesda <laughs> showcase. You know, it's like that's how big Bethesda are slash were that after yeah. they get bought, they're now level pegging with their owners in terms of yeah. of, of showing publicly. Um, mm. So, so you know, if you'd said before, then will could they buy Take Two? Uh, I would have been like fuck off now yeah. enough, aren't they? <laughs> having, having said that take two are i want to say on a different level you know and, and you know yeah. and you can quote this back when it's all announced in a few months time uh, <laughs> as, you know, to show me how stupid i am but take two i don't know they're fucking massive if it would obviously be if it if that genuinely happened that would obviously be ridiculous you know grand theft auto grand theft auto uh, etc uh their games um are they 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 sort of they break the boundaries of gaming in that they mm. they are a known entity by every person on the planet every person. arguably do you know what i mean yeah. like my mum knows what grand theft auto is and she doesn't even, she wouldn't even be able to name one of my fucking video games, you know. So, like, <laughs> you know, she, she still doesn't think I've got a real job. So, it, you know, in, in that regard, like, it would be, it would be ridiculous. Like, the average person has no fucking clue what a Skyrim is. What's a Skyrim? Yeah. But they know what a Grand Theft is. And, and so, uh, yeah, it would be, it would be industry shifting. Uh, it would be possibly the biggest news ever in video games. Uh, yeah. Should people be pissed Huge. off about it? Some will uh, be. No. PlayStation yeah, guys. Some will Surely be. PlayStation guys have what, a reason you, to yeah, be pissed. Do you know what you should just do then? Just buy an Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Like, you guess, okay, <laughs> yeah. I kind of touched on this last time, right? And, I, and I'm sorry to yeah. retread ground, right? But could do it. the could idea do it. that you are you are beholden to a platform is Thank you. fucking stupid. Like, Thank you. The, the, I love the you, Mike. That, the I idea love that you. now, the idea that now PlayStation people, PlayStation people now can't play the Fester games anymore because yeah. it's only on Xbox or PC. Just buy yeah. a fucking Xbox. Jesus Christ. It's not like if Thanks. you buy an Xbox, all of a sudden your PlayStation card will expire. Like, it'll burn in your hand. Like, oh! <laughs> that's the impression you get the PlayStation police aren't going to turn up at your door and shoot you in the face just like it, it doesn't matter do you know what the day that the series x came out i got one and the day that the playstation 5 came out i got one. arguably i'm very lucky in that i managed to get both of them right now but for me i've always owned both i, I own all three of them yeah arguably a very privileged position that i have the resources to be able to do that but if you are in a situation where you can get them, just fucking get all of them. And you don't need to buy yeah. all of them all at once either. I mean, no, exactly. you, can, yeah. you can get one year down the road, two years down the road, buy the other consoles. Like, And that's what I usually do. You know, I can't yeah. afford to buy them all at once, but I buy them all because I want to play all these games. And it wouldn't bother me at all if Grand Theft Auto was exclusive to PlayStation. I don't care. I would play it there. Like, that's, that, yeah. that's yeah. the anything, thing. Yeah. Thing, like when a game is exclusive to a platform it makes it gives you a purpose to own that platform you know what i mean like yeah. like i uh currently i uh i've been like uh, semi regretting owning a ps5 right now because and I, and I don't say that to try and stoke any fires it's more like there haven't been that many games for me on it yet there will be i'm yeah. sure there's going to be you know there'll be like god of war and shit like that soon but but right now you know there's not that many games that my Xbox is useful to me because I've got Game Pass and I and so yeah. like every fucking week I'm playing Avengers right now. I've just downloaded whatever it's called Scarlet yeah. Nexus. So that's the purpose of my Xbox right now. 
Mm -hmm. The idea that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how or when it happened, but for some reason, I mean, I'm sure you've, I'm sure you watch Twitter all the time. It just makes me laugh. All of these little things going on on Twitter where like people have like a picture of fucking alloy from, from, uh, from Horizon as their <laughs> thing. And their username is PS5 Forever XX1 XX. <laughs> yeah. and, like, they, and, and, and for some reason, then they, they, ha they can't own an Xbox now, even if a game appears on it that they like the look. Like, the, uh, like how many people are going to miss out on Halo now? You know, Halo's going to be out soon. It's like, I've not tried it yet, but from what I can gather. Oh, it's good. Gather, it's uh, amazing. From what I can gather, it seems like it's fucking crazy good shit. It's How really many good. people are just not gonna get to experience this game at launch with their friends at Christmas of all times, B because nah. because they've decided that some mega conglomerate gives a fuck about them, and so therefore they don't believe <laughs> blue. Like uh, PlayStation, I, I, and I don't say this as uh, like uh, to put PlayStation down, but they don't give a shit about you. Play Microsoft nope, don't give yeah, a shit about you. These. Nintendo don't give a shit about you. None of them give a shit about you. Nope. Just yeah, buy them all and buy the right. games on them. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Fuck. I, I've never bought just I've never bought just one console and said this is the console I'm going to have all generation. Like it's just yeah. stupid. It's dumb. it's always been that both consoles. I I got a uh, I got a 360, and I got a, and then shortly after I got a PS3, and the 360 had some fucking bangers on it yeah and then the ps3 had some fucking bangers on it and then the next generation i arguably play i arguably played my ps4 more i i would i would argue the ps4 had more bangers than than the xbox one Same. did uh by far yeah and then, but the interesting thing is that this time around both consoles have a fucking purpose the one of them yeah, yeah. has fucking loads of games on it that are just all <laughs> pay this fucking subscription you get fucking loads of games this other one has amazing exclusives on it. it has like all of these like japanese games that you can't really get on xbox right now yeah they're both fucking amazing fucking machines that are powerful yeah. as fuck and both have insane games on them i do understand Why preference though not get them both yeah i do understand yeah. preference though i do i do totally understand when somebody wants to play on one console over another for whatever yeah. reason that may be their friends or power or whatever the narrative yeah. may be because i you know i'm of the mind that uh, I'll play most of my multiplats on the most powerful console that's out at the time. So yeah. it yeah. was the PlayStation 4 for me. Then it yeah. was the PS4, uh, PS4 Pro. Then it went yeah. to the One X. Now it's on the Series X. That's where I pay, play most of my multiplats. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. I, you know, it, it's it's like another thing that they brought up during that little uh, thing with Colin and, and Dustin is that they went into, you know, they'd rather see timed exclusives over... You know, something that being full exclusive, to me. which to me is worse. Timed exclusives yeah. are way worse than exclusive games. Like, because I, look, if I'm somebody who prefers to play on one platform because of some reason or another, I don't want to have to wait yeah. for that game. And I don't want to have to go buy out, you know, that possibly inferior product just because it's there for three, six months, a year, whatever it may be. I don't like timed exclusives yeah. at all. I think they're bullshit but imagine hating a platform yeah. so much that you were like well i'd be happy if i could just wait for a year and then i could play the game <laughs> on my platform of choice like, yeah yeah but, when you have what, what a weird mindset you'd have to be in to think like that <laughs> I, I i i do want to just uh say one thing i i, I do want to say i i appreciate that in all of this there are some people who just aren't i i appreciate how privileged i am in saying a lot of this i appreciate there are yeah, a lot yeah. of people who can only own one console and in those situations, but I think that's kind of bullshit. Too. But, but in Mike, those situations, why shit on the other people? No, it's not shitting on them. I, I think it's it's total complete bullshit for ninety nine percent of these people that could even afford <laughs> one of these five hundred cons uh, dollar consoles that they can't buy one in another year or two years. It's bullshit. They, they're just using I'm that to to be like, oh, I can't buy more than one. You know, no, you're using it as a fanboy talking point. Like at that at that point, you just don't want to buy the other console. Period. Like, I, I don't but believe you can that... have a subscription service that you can play xCloud on your phone. Everything's opening up. Well, so speaking about subscription service, Microsoft yeah. has that, you know, pay-as-you-go service. You can play as you go you, and, and yeah. pay for the yeah. console, like $25, $35 yeah, a month. Yeah, yeah. You can get Game Pass, the Series X, whatever. 
I mean, there's lots of things these people can do to buy another console. They just choose not to because it's not their favorite plastic. And I, and yeah. I, I find that very weird. I've always found it weird, but mm. it is what it is. You know, you know, you know what? Give it another year and... I will bet you, especially in a couple of years, I would. I'm going to guess that most new TVs that are coming out will just have X yeah. will have Game Pass built into them. You'll buy a new TV. You all you'll have to do is own an Xbox con uh, an Xbox controller. For, you know what's interesting? For like Thirty quid from a shop, and and you'll be fucking playing Game Pass games. That'd be crazy. He's right, but but here's the thing, and and that goes to show you kind of the where the intention between Microsoft and hmm. Sony are a bit different. Yes. Whereas if they were to buy up all these games, they still want to put them out there on everything via Game Pass. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and, and if PlayStation, if Sony were to say, hey, you can put Game Pass on our system, which they won't. But if they were to do that, Microsoft would be ready and willing. Here's Game Pass. But, but this is, the, but that, and, that, and you're exactly right. And, and, and that's why I, I find these conversations, you know, you know, when, uh, when the numbers are coming out and people are like, oh, the PS5, it's sold 10 million units, 13 million units, <laughs> and Xbox yeah. is only managing half of that. And I'm always in my head, I'm like, Microsoft, do not give a shit. They, they don't nope. care. <laughs> I, I, they don't completely not care, but they care about the Game Pass numbers. That's what they yeah. care about. Yep. Because here's the thing. Engagement. Know, yeah. They, if they just keep getting more and more and more subscribers to Game Pass, that's a monthly payment. People buying a PlayStation Five, they pay once, and and yeah. then and, and they're in. But but people on Game Pass, the more subscribers they get on, doesn't matter what device it's on. That's why I, I I always find this conversation funny when people are saying like, oh well, it's not a real exclusive Xbox exclusive because it's on PC as well. Well, yeah, because Microsoft yeah. chose that. I don't know if you remember, but Microsoft owned fucking Windows. Like they they own your computer. <laughs> You know, I mean, like they don't—they don't give a fuck that you don't own an Xbox, mate. They own everything around you. Like, what, what, again, they're a mega conglomerate. They don't give a shit. They own fucking your whole operating system. They, like the idea that it's like, oh, but they're not on an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, that's so See, stupid. How many apps on your computer right now are owned by Microsoft? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Too many. It's true. If it's on an Xbox or not? Why would they? Care? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, so you'd be sitting there quietly, and I don't know what your position is. What's the Collins take on it? Let's talk about take two. What What did you think about Colin and Dustin's takes on on, on that on that point? Uh -huh. um, I don't have any strong opinions. Like they, they seemed a little bit emotional. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not too sure why. Like, I, I get that it would hurt. <laughs> that particular set of people that that are really dedicated to their playstation grand theft auto is massive and it would yeah make it would it would be a short way through the industry if it happened i've not seen any signs that it is happening yeah <laughs> who knows I, i've not i don't know i don't, I don't know i've not got a lot on that <laughs> one guys <laughs> uh, no what okay it, i i, I would say, i would say that actually your reaction is is the right reaction like yeah like why does it like why does it matter honestly what about my reaction matter? mike mine was normal <laughs> yeah in a, in a, in, everyone, in everyone's a straight reaction jacket. everyone's reaction is exceptionally normal to this, to this situation. <laughs> <laughs> i think if you look at the situation and you try to put your mindset into theirs it comes down to maybe they're thinking about you know again old microsoft um they're wondering can these teams all get managed and and put out good products and uh, my my answer to that is, do you really think that if they are allowing these dev teams to do wh whatever they want, make their games, uh, you know, continue whatever they've been con doing for all these years, especially like Bethesda, you really think all of a sudden Bethesda games are just going to be sudden trash because Microsoft owns them? It, it it doesn't work that way. Like they're still building their games, they're still going to have those. Uh, fallouts and those elder scrolls and they they're not suddenly gonna suck because microsoft bought them like i yeah i just think I it's weird and again i invited dustin on here but he said he sticks by what he says but he doesn't want to come on which i understand because the internet doesn't like discord or, or doesn't stand nuance and i'm sure we can defend his position and colin very well uh, but it's a shame we can't get him on here to discuss this it's both very busy anyway but i i want to ask this point i bring it back to this point where dustin was saying well X xbox 
can't do well. And I want to ask you your opinion on this, Mike. He talks about Crackdown. Look what they did with Crackdown. Look what they did with 343 and Halo after Bungie gave it over. What's your view on your confidence in Microsoft to deliver with these new studios? And it seemed like he was talking, I contended, yeah. expired narrative. What's your point as a publisher? Your experience with Microsoft? Yeah, you, what, are you what you just described is, is right. Uh, Microsoft were a mess, you know, uh, yeah. during the Xbox One days. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry to anybody from Microsoft watching, but it was a it was a bit of a mess. You can see from the, the numbers show. it was a mess. They, you know, they had what was his fucking name, Don Matrix or whatever from uh, like <laughs> trying to. You remember that guy? Like they <laughs> they, they went a little bit off the rails. Uh, I, uh, I have this theory that, um, it's not even a theory, I, I'm pretty certain this is correct, that what happens is that when one of these platforms does exceptionally well, then mm -hmm. all their numbers go fucking so skyrocket so high that they forget what they're even doing, and they just kind of ride that wave, and at the end of the wave, when the wave starts to dip, they're like, oh, fuck, how do we keep this wave high? And they can't anymore. So, so obviously Xbox, yeah. with the 360... It was yeah. a ridiculous platform for them. It was phenomenal for them. And I think it, by the end of the 360, they'd forgotten what they were even fucking doing anymore. So then when the Xbox yeah. One came out, they fucked everything up. Like, uh, yeah, Xbox, completely. Microsoft fucked everything at the end of the 360. And it took yeah. them a yep. long time to recover. In the last few years, they've they've basically like had to regroup and realize yeah. what the fuck to do again. Because they went down and kind of it's funny calling microsoft an underdog because yeah, i know not, yeah. but, but but, it, but you know you know what i mean like they had to remember yeah. how to fucking do this properly again and uh someone had this bright fucking idea that maybe a subscription service like netflix would work and that's been going quite well for them but they but what i will say is that microsoft have done a very good job in the last few years of uh of keeping doing that like they yeah uh, something i was concerned about and i said this to multiple people at microsoft was that uh game pass um would as it grew in popularity they'd start to fuck it up like you know because that's the classic huh. thing that happens you know you you start signing shitloads of games and then you've got so many games and so many people coming to you that you become complacent and you start fucking it up a little bit uh, mm. currently that's not the case. Like currently, they're they're still doing a great job with that. And 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 if anything, yep. uh, from what I understand, uh, they are offering, you know, nice chunks of money to people who are still coming to them. I, I still have friends who are like coming to me and saying, "I just got a Game Pass deal, and look at the fucking numbers on this." And they they can't believe like what great deals they're getting wow. on Game Pass right now. And that and that for me is surprising because we're years in now. It's clearly like yeah. it's a hit. So at this point, arguably, if you're a Microsoft physician, you could start to like just scale back. You, yeah. you know, th there's going to be the desperate money. developers trying to get on Game Pass at this point, and you could start to take advantage of that. Currently, they're not doing it. From what I understand, they're not doing that. It, that doesn't mm. mean they won't in the future. You know, it, you know that that yeah. Because as I say, the it, if Microsoft do well this this uh, this this generation. Then, uh, then my own uh, belief is that they'll they'll skyrocket and then they'll fucking drop off again a little bit. I like, always oh, think that. I say yeah, that all the time. It, it's the complacency <laughs> of it all. Fortunately, yeah. and they're not there yet. They're still in a in a mm. position where they're doing good shit with it, and that yeah, is with, with a service like that, evil. you you cannot get complacent. That's that's what I've maintained for years now. I've been saying this type of service you have to continue to feed. You have yeah. to yeah. feed your consumers. And if they, if they come, become complacent, then it it all goes bye bye. That that yeah. that service yeah. is dead. It's like you know? it's like Epic. It's like Epic. What Epic are doing with the Epic Store? Yeah, they're, they're in the exact same position right now. They are churning fucking money into that thing because they yeah. want to take on Valve as quickly as they can. I'd Valve argue that I'd argue that Microsoft is is in a little bit better position though than than yeah. Epic in that situation. They, they they're certainly doing are because. Well, well, the, the thing is as well that Epic are so far behind Steam. You know, Steam have been doing this for how, how many years? It's like 15, 20 years or something. Yeah, yeah. They have such a head start on them. Fair play to Epic, though. They are they are 
gunning at it. It's going to take years. It's going to take years before Epic are in a position where... And that's, you know, and that, that's, what I, that's how I view uh, Game Pass as well. They're way ahead of the curve. Uh, they're ahead yes. of everybody else with this type of service in gaming. Yes. And yes. they've yes. got the jump on this to where, you know, n nobody's really going to catch up at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and look, here's the thing, and, and I and I say this with zero knowledge, so please don't take this like I'm some kind of fucking insider on this. PlayStation yeah. are going to make a Game Pass. They, they're going to do it because, and I know I they've said so. multiple times they're not going to. I know that they've violently said, no, we're not going to do that. It devalues game, blah, 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 all this kind of shit. They're going to do yeah. it. Because the you more get... pressure that Microsoft piles on them, that part, they, then, then PlayStation will realize, oh, fuck, we need to do this as well. Like you, like I don't know, like the reaction to to PS Plus recently and the games that have been on the the piece of shit games that have been on PS Plus recently, like it, <laughs> they, they, you know, you can tell from from PlayStation owners who are seeing the games on PS Plus every month right now, and they're like, "But Game Pass has has this yeah. this month, and it's the same price. Why are Mike, we getting there, these two games and they're getting people... all of those?" There's people in the chat that don't agree with that statement, but I, I, th I think these people don't understand. They have to really think about this because, as you said, you know, we're talking about Sony has already started to do the PC thing. They're already starting to put games out on PC. Granted, they're not right away. They're not day and date, but they're changing. They are evolving, and you have to in this space. You can't just say, hey, here's uh, my price point for our exclusive game, 70 bucks, and that be it. You have to change with the times. And whether or not people like Game Pass, it is changing the industry. There is some change mm. going on here. So, I mean, for, for anybody who disagrees with me, fair enough. But, you know, you can quote this back to me. PlayStation will make their own Game Pass. And it, I, I don't know if it'll be very soon or if it'll be in a couple of years' time. If they were clever, they'd be doing it now. Because as you mentioned earlier, Microsoft are ahead now. On it, you know, yeah. it takes time to build one of these services, and it will take years to build one of these services. So the later that PlayStation leave it, uh, at the later they they launch this th their own thing, they they're, they're wasting time. As a it's consumer, true. I want them to do that. I yeah, want well, another Game Pass time. subscription based, uh, you know, type service on PlayStation. All yeah. those exclusive games in one place for one, you know, low price every month. I'm there day one. Yeah. 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 But yeah, play, PlayStation um, will do it. PlayStation will do it. As soon as they hit the 50 mil mark, you can feel the fire up their ass. They're like, oh shit, let's just get, get our act together. Because we cannot just sit by and let them just take over the mind share. Because that's what it really well, is. Well, because the other, uh, the other thing about these subscription services as well is that they, uh, we've kind of been talking about it, but they, they, they transcend the console, right? So, so yeah. like, it, yeah. you know, when, when, when the PS4 ended, it's not ended yet, of course. There's still games coming yeah. out of it and stuff. But it's this weird like bit now where it's like the PS4 starts to do this and then the PS5 goes like this. And but but Microsoft never have to worry about that ever again. Because yeah. here's just what Game Pass will do. And when there's a new console, when the next console comes out, it don't fucking matter because they've got all these subscriptions that have gone up here. It doesn't yep. dip anymore and then go back up again yeah. like the PS4 to PS5 does. Subscription yeah. services just carry on. Subscription services do not give a shit about whether there's a new console or not. Facts. So that's so, great point. So, yeah. You know, maths wise, they've, they've, you know, they're in a better position, basically. Damn. I didn't think of it that way, but yeah, especially with all that forward compatibility stuff they've gone about. That, that they've been on about like three years before before this gen started. Very forward facing there. It's Sony, well, if I was Sony, I'd be, sorry. Everyone kind of looks at like the Netflix model for that forgetting what Microsoft have already done with Windows and Office and everything else, which is exactly the same deal. They moved all of their software and all of their services <laughs> yeah. onto a subscription plan to stop these big spikes as new things come out or don't and so on. So, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I want to hit these super chats. Um, thank you so much uh, for the super chats. M M Miggity. So, thank you so much for the five pound super chat. The issue is Microsoft buying publishers for the sole purpose of taking games away from one fan base. Like Colt, shout out to Colt, said Microsoft would still release on PC. Of all the platforms out there, Microsoft is the most inclusive one. If Sony did it, like Fonz said, good luck seeing that on anything else. Maybe the, PC. The, that, that's that's the point, isn't it? They're not they're not doing it. That Microsoft aren't doing this 
to to take it away from PlayStation people because yeah, they're putting no. them on PC as well. They're not being malicious yeah. about it. it it's it, the whole funny situation with this is that ye like years ago, even now, people whine Xbox has got no games. Xbox has got no games. So Microsoft reacted and got a bunch of studios <laughs> yeah. so that they had a bunch yeah. of games. And now those same people are angry that they're getting games. <laughs> yeah, and you know what's yeah, funny? Yeah, is yeah. it that you fucking want? Do you want them to have games? Yep. Or do, you, yeah. or do you just like the sound of your own voice whining? Is it, which is it? Of those <laughs> and and they're, they're grabbing up AAA games, multi-plat games, and putting them into Game Pass, saying, here, for our customers on Game Pass, you get to play this. And then you still have the opposition saying, well, I get to play that game too. Yeah, but for $60, $70. Like, you know, yeah. there's a difference here. And also, you have to yeah. always throw that Game Pass in there. When people are talking about trying to take games away, Microsoft is open to the idea that Game Pass could go anywhere. They don't care. Yeah. They they will put Game Pass on whatever platform you want that it want, you know. They they, they would yeah, they love all of us. Just, just, they love no, each, they don't each love each all of us, <laughs> but they love money, Asa. That's why they want that money. They want that continuous yeah. revenue month after month. You know, and I gotta say again, you know, I got a new best friend in Mike here. I really like his takes. Very smart. Yeah, guy. yeah but and you Everyone's think you wouldn't friend. think he's a director of a publishing outfit? That's for sure. But Ooh. that's that's why we love you, Mike. But um, and oh, can we talk the about the organic nice growth <laughs> between you know the differences? A lot of talking points is organic growth yeah. versus just buying up studios. We're hearing that a lot from people. You know, yeah. Sony likes to cultivate you know a certain you know development team and really grow them before they acquire them. I just find that kind of bullshit in a way. Like, you know. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, I'd like to hear Mike's take on this, honestly. What's your take on that? Mike, do you have to give birth to developers under your roof for it to be organic growth? What the fuck does this mean? Because to me, it's bullshit because PlayStation bought studios too. Oh, well, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't taint your view. Yeah, no, I don't want to take. What do you think you know, about organic means. growth? Yeah, what what's your organic growth, growth take it, on this? It, 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 in terms of what? In terms of just PlayStation buying a studio? Yeah, yeah. In terms of them so buying. So Jim studio. Ryan came. Is it Jim Ryan? who made this statement last year, he says, oh, we are not in the business of buying these studios. We do so organically, kind of alluding to the fact that they're not so malicious. They don't just buy them. They think mm. about what they do uh, and then they do it organically. Well, well, so, one thing that PlayStation do very well is they, um, they uh, I, I think a lot of, uh, especially mid-tier developers, uh, feel like they are PlayStation studios even though they're not beholden to PlayStation. You know, there's a lot of studios who have been with PlayStation for a long time. Um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what you call them? Uh, it's the fucking game with uh, Returnal. Uh, you know, that- Housemark. That, Housemark. Yeah, House, Housemark. Yeah, um, Housemark have been a PlayStation studio for a very long time, just because they weren't owned by PlayStation. You know, they, they, you know, they, they yeah. weren't owned by PlayStation for all these years, but they've been a PlayStation studio for all of these years. Uh, and, yeah. and PlayStation have arguably been very good at um, at sort of making studios like that feel very special and want to keep working exclusively with PlayStation. Uh, yeah. Which which arguably, I guess you could say Microsoft haven't got as many like that. Uh, and, and you know, and again, maybe that's arguably why Microsoft have had to start buying more studios to to start yeah. building some of these relationships um yeah playstation are very good at that kind of thing they're very good at that kind of thing i i worked at a publisher which where they weren't a playstation publisher but you could tell that the directors of that studio felt beholden to playstation felt like playstation mm. treated them right uh and okay. so therefore they should focus even though they get their games were on every platform they felt like they should focus on playstation yeah. as a platform um it's it's arguably happening less and less recently because smaller studios are arguably finding it maybe more difficult to sell on PlayStation. Um, yeah. But um, but but yeah, it's definitely something that PlayStation have always been very good at. Really, I, I, I'm sure if you thought off the top of your head, you could think of loads of studios where you think you think to yourself, "Well, that's a PlayStation game." 
even yeah. though it's yeah. not a studio that's owned by PlayStation. There's loads of games like that, yeah. you know? Uh, small and, that, and big. That, but I think that, when that, you're just talking about, you know, just the, the acquisition portion of this conversation between, you know, oh, their homegrown studio, and then we acquired it. The sole act of just acquiring these studios is the same for both companies, just to keep, mm. you know, to, to keep this studio on board with your, you know, uh, underneath your umbrella. So, I mean, it's it's the same to me. Like, there's there's really no difference there. Uh, I, I just think it's a weird talking point. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's well, to add context to that. There's definitely different feels, isn't there, to, to the two different conversations for some reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, feel, it feels like, it's, but it's not even just PlayStation and Microsoft. Like, it feels like that happens a lot where you could have conversations about two different studios doing the exact same thing. And one of them mm. is looked on negatively, and one of them is looked on positively. And you're like, "Why? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why this is the case." Um, yeah. Why are yeah, EA the worst I, publisher in the world, and Activision never get mentioned until recently when yeah. they get very much mentioned? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. More, yeah, more recently, is especially yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Only now. Yeah, it's a weird one. Mads Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat. PLN10, he says, no need to own an Xbox. Use xCloud. Simple. That's going back, double back on what uh, Migdi was saying as well. And you're absolutely right. And I said the same thing. It's just like, yo, you've got options here. Kate Forever, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. He goes, honestly, I don't know why people want the take to acquisition. It makes no sense. Phil is trying to build culture in his studios that's funny because uh thingy uh, colin was saying uh looking at the culture and didn't yeah understand. he asked why why would they buy hellblade right why would they buy you know why the, they the buy ninja, ninja theory, theory and yeah and double fine diversity I don't get that point diversity, diversity that's yeah. what they want they want diversity in their games they, they, you know that's another thing with game pass you have to have a diverse lineup of games to attract and entice uh all gamers so that's yeah. why you're seeing more JRPGs and stuff in there. Hell, we just got Scarlet yeah. Nexus. So yeah, on Game Pass, that's sick. I'm downloading yeah. that now. Um, Kate ah, says, that explains if why anything, your webcam folks, looks so bad. Cause... Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> what my webcam? <laughs> oh, is it really bad? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it's really bad. Okay, I'll sort that out. Um, <laughs> he goes. Uh, Kate says, focus on focus. Not focus on. If anything. Focus entertainment is the safest bet without retaliation. I don't think you have to worry about retaliation. This is Microsoft. It can re retaliate harder with money. Um, that, and I don't think they actually, care about... That was an interesting thing on the... So I said I didn't have any opinion on on what Colin and Dustin were saying. When they said um, that yeah. people wouldn't stand for it, that was the one bit that was like, huh? Yeah. Eh? What, what are people going to do? Who? Like, Which Which people? <laughs> Twitter. I, think I don't get it. I the, think the, 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 the funny thing is, the funny thing is that most people in the industry, like, when these things are happening, when like a studio acquires another or whatever, some of them will all be like, "Whoa, look at this thing!" And then we'll be like, "Okay, let's move on then." And we'll just immediately we'll just fall over it <laughs> yeah. because, like, who gives a fuck? Like, it, 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 I just it don't get that. I yeah. I mean, I feel like again, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. But why does it fucking matter? Like, at the end of the day. <laughs> It's just yeah, it's which so... is surprising to hear Colin say that that there will be some sort of mass retaliation from whom? From the from, people from the, game, from the, Pegasus. From the gamers from the, the gamers. Pegasus nation. Yeah. You gotta watch out for the gamers. <laughs> yeah. The the gamers, the core gamers on Twitter, they'll angrily type to mean tweets yeah. at you. They'll, they'll say <laughs> mean things on Twitter at us. Uh... Yeah. Hoggy Channing, thank you so much for the generous twenty uh, twenty dollars uh, super chat. He goes, Xbox wants to expand gaming. Cheaper console Game Pass allows that to happen. In the Western world, we can afford multi consoles. Not so much in poorer countries. PlayStation is charging more, not less. Xbox getting publishers puts more in Game Pass. Yes, it does. We had so many people on this uh, in our community and on the chat. We said, look, man, I'm in Brazil. You can't, it doesn't scale. PlayStation asking so much per game. We cannot afford that. Game Pass has opened the barriers to it. It really has. It really has massively. Uh, and you're right, Huggy. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Blue Boy Vars, thank we, you. We, with, our, with our Game Pass games, we see, we've seen like influx of players from like Argentina 
uh and, and oh yeah well, tell, ev tell us everywhere about that. In, everywhere in south america you know in, in in countries where arguably we would normally not see as many people playing games uh yeah we're seeing massive increases in those places now because yeah we've all got fucking game pass uh that's amazing and, and, it, and it you know and I, I, and arguably, it, it's not like it. Uh, it's not like it massively affects us or anything. You know, it's not like us getting influx of players from Argentina. All of a sudden, uh, our whole business has changed or anything. But it's fucking nice, though. <laughs> what about <laughs> the? Nice. Yeah, it's nice. You know, I I, I want to ask Mike a question. What about the argument between um, a game being put in Game Pass and not being, say, purchased as much because it's in Game Pass? How does that really affect the developer? Uh, especially monetarily like does it really hurt yeah. your pocket it's a it, it's a it's a balance because uh you know uh, you, well the the monetization behind game pass it's like this thing where we're not allowed to talk about it but everybody fucking knows it yeah uh you know where you know the, <laughs> the developers are getting paid for their games to be on game pass yeah and yeah what you what you what you do when you put your game in game pass uh a number is thrown around you work out what that number means yep. you know how many copies of my game is that it's x number of copies yeah am i truly going to sell x number of copies on this platform mm -hmm. maybe not maybe i'll get close to it so i should do this yeah because now i'm guaranteeing that i'm exactly. arguably selling that many units by getting this money up front and i'm now also getting about a hundred times as many players for my games yeah. as I would have without it. And so yeah. now, you know, and you get studios where they've put a game in Game Pass. The game they put uh, on Game Pass has done amazingly. And they then announce their next game or they've announced a sequel. And there's massive buzz around that because yep. so many people yeah. played it. Yep. Uh, yeah, we you get it all the time. So, so yeah, you, basically as a developer, you, you have to way you just weigh it up and and you know and arguably if you're in a situation where the di where the uh, the deal didn't make any sense where you were actually well, yeah. you know but then, lost money oh, but then, then that would lie on the developer i mean you took a bad deal in, in that case but it's just an argument that i hear a lot of that people are saying well game pass hurts developers and i'm like well not really they're getting paid like you know and the thing is is like for me okay i'm, I'm a cheap bastard I'll, I'll admit so i pay for game pass I don't you typically buy the games that are in Game Pass. I just yeah. play them there, and then I'm you know done with them. Um, that's not the same for everybody. There are people that I know that buy the games on Game Pass as well, but that's the whole point of the service is to get these yeah. games into you know essentially for free for one mo uh, low monthly price. So that's yeah. the way I look at it as a consumer. You, if I'm honest with you, where whenever I've seen a studio publicly say, uh don't think Game Pass worked for our game very well. Yeah. A lot of the time I read that and I'm like, it's because your game wasn't your very good. Shit. It's yeah. Great, it wasn't a great game. Do you know what I mean? And I'm sure you've seen that. I'm sure you've well, seen multiple it, situations where that's happened. <laughs> it's, like, that's the thing. it's not that the game's bad, it's just that it's kind of an average looking game. And then the studio mm. goes, oh, Game Pass didn't do fucking magic for us. And you're like, yeah. well, it wasn't going to. Like there's some games that have done phenomenal on Game Pass because they were fucking great games, yeah. And so and so the the greatness of the game has carried it. The number of headlines I've seen where people are like, "Oh, I didn't do did what well, didn't do as well for us as everybody else says." I'm like, "Oh, I won't mention oh. any games, but there's been plenty of games I've tried and I've just been like, okay, this is not for me.' I'm just yeah, put yeah. It away. I, yeah. Last so. time you were on the show, Mike, you were we were talking about yeah. um, Descenders, obviously being on Game Pass and being one of your games and what it's done in terms of people spreading the word and trying it and so forth yeah i looked i can't remember if i was on xbox or pc but about two days ago descenders is still listed in the most popular on game pass category today like really really recently what how long is it staying on there what's the deal i know you can't go into like massive specifics but is it a, like a renegotiation thing is it a really long-term contract what's happening with Descenders? Well, I, don't, I don't care I'll, I'll i'll tell you uh i uh, i signed a thing <laughs> uh with with microsoft earlier this year Maybe I shouldn't say exact, but the, uh, but the yeah. I basically we basically yeah. signed a new deal for Game Pass with Descenders early this year, which means that uh, you are 
going to see Descenders on Game Pass for a while. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah. Like, it's not, it's not going to disappear anytime Well, soon. what that means is it, it's got a lot of engagement, and that's good. Oh, yeah. It's a great thing. Yeah. It's been, it's been crazy. And uh, and, I, and I'll tell you what, like, um, so so the, uh, the, tra the trajectory of Descenders has vastly changed because of Game Pass. Uh, just two weeks ago, we hired a second programmer. So, so, uh, so Game Pass, uh, Descenders was made by a studio called Rage Squid, a Dutch studio, fucking lovely people. Uh, mm -hmm. About, I want to say about a year ago, they were basically like, look, we've been working on this game for four years. Like, we need to make our next thing. If we keep doing this, we'll never make another game. Uh, so, so they basically said to us, can you start doing more stuff? Uh, you know, normally we just publish titles, not really working on the development side. We basically worked out a thing with, with Rage Squid because the game would not fucking die. Uh, we basically worked out a <laughs> thing where we hired a developer and that developer became, uh, you know, sort of the, the sort of key developer on Descenders. And oh. this year, just be, you know, partially because of the work he's been doing and partially just because, again, the game won't fucking die. A couple of weeks ago, we hired a second programmer so we now have our Liz publishing Wright? studio yeah 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 we are our publishing studio of 10 people two of these people well actually three because one of them was working on descender stuff and sometimes still does stuff a third of the studio is just working on on descenders and future stuff for descenders new modes for descenders new new features for descenders because we Amazing. know that this game isn't going anywhere soon uh, because of game pass because of game pass yeah um, that's amazing I, 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 you know uh, Ubisoft might kill us soon uh, with uh, with Riders Republic <laughs> uh, maybe maybe they're going to take us out maybe people will realise that mm. uh, a $70 game plus all of the DLC uh, is maybe not as good value <laughs> as, as, a, as a $25 game with a 95% mm. uh, rating online but who knows uh, well, I guess we'll see what happens when that game goes out. Shots! Uh, <laughs> Shots we'll fired. See, we'll see what happens there, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. But uh, regardless, what, uh, everything I'm describing would not have happened if it wasn't for Game Pass. This this game has mul multiple people have jobs. You know, multiple people are now working on stuff. Multiple people, uh, hundreds of thousands of new people are playing uh, the game every single day. We still have like riffs of, of YouTubers, you know, who are playing Descenders on a weekly basis uh, because their fan base are constantly asking for it. Uh, and, and that, because of, because clip that, that ladies and gentlemen, clip right it. there. Because, if because anyone ever says it. anything about Game Pass, that's quite strong. I mean, and we've had David Springate, uh, lovely gent, now heading Playground. Playground games and working on Fable, who was working on Dirt, and he said the same thing. Like it just, yeah. We ex players just went up, like they were like, oh shit, how this, and it st sustained it. It wasn't mm -hmm. like a little spike and just dropped off completely. Well, it'll be interesting to see, right? If if Game Pass helps Avengers, that's going to be the ultimate test. I think it already right? has. So many people. This this AAA right. game that's just come out on Game Pass, which. As far as the headlines seem to suggest, it maybe wasn't doing as well as 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 the nah. various parties involved had hoped. <laughs> yeah. This game has had multiple bits of DLC put on it. It's got multiple fucking online raids and all this shit in it now. And yeah. now it's on Game Pass. All of a sudden, these new millions of people have access to it. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see. This is going to be, to be honest, Avengers is going to low-key be the ultimate test for Game Pass. It's going to be well, interesting Mike, to see mm. in a few months. Look, look, yeah. what it did for, look what it did for Outriders. Mm. I, I've always maintained that if Outriders wasn't in Game Pass day one, that game would have failed a lot sooner mm. than yeah. it did. That's yeah, but that was it, quite like, funny. Like Mike says, in terms of it being a litmus test, though, with Avengers, you've got a uh, without Game Pass, with Game Pass, direct. Yep, yep right? it's different. You can really measure the difference without writing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. just seeing my like timeline, my friends uh, playing online, I see a bunch of them playing Avengers. On I'm done with Avengers. I wasn't buying I, it. I now I get to play it. it. I've been playing it. I hadn't, I hadn't got it before because I was a bit eh about it. I'm yeah. playing it. I'm, I'm fucking loving it. I think it's really good. I tried uh, it till I got to a certain Eastwood, part, and I'm done with it. Like yeah. I just, I don't I like a game. certain part that happens, and I'm just like, ah, eh, I'm done. 
Is it like a is it like oh. a bad like a bad Spider Man? Well, no. It it what it does is it gets to the point where you start having to go into the multiplayer aspect of it, and right. they're like, "Here's some strikes," and I'm like, "I just want a traditional campaign," and I don't like all the loot involved in this game. Like it just yeah, it's yeah, not for yeah. me. Bit bit Destiny. Uh, yeah, too too much. But yeah. th but then again, you put on this gear that doesn't change anything aesthetically on your character, and it's like. What's the point? Yeah, I love how you put yeah. gear on your character in Avengers, and it does nothing. Like does visually, nothing. there's nothing yeah. happens. Oh, like, but you can was, but you can that? pay for gear. You can pay for gear. There's <laughs> yeah. microtransactions, and you yeah. can change your look. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Now I'm definitely that, yeah, but it's, def that. it's definitely going to be it's going to be an interesting test for Game Pass. I think. Yeah, uh, that's a very good point. I didn't think of it that way. That's going to be yeah. very interesting. Because uh, yeah. this is a title that's a big heavyweight title that was supposed to shake the world by its player model or whatever model screwed it up. And now Game Pass might be something that... It's going to be very interesting. I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm. Blue Boy Vars, thank you so much for the £10 super chat. Because the issue is next to Game Pass PS5 looks worse uh, because of the high game prices, no matter how good they are. Got the PS4 dirt cheap this year to play the few exclusive ever wanted and sold it again. Uh... uh yeah, I mean the prices are are a problem, it's, especially when they hiked up the price. Let alone the standard prices. Uh, but thank you for the super chat. Now you know me; I don't um, pay Danny, the seventy dollar price, but uh, I wait for a sale. Yeah, you bother. Uh, but yeah. I, I I love Sony games so much that I, I I have to have a PlayStation Five for them. Like, there's no way I yeah. cannot ha not have a PlayStation Five. Like, I have to have one because of their games yeah, yeah. and but i'm not paying that 70 dollar price tag i've said it and i've i've been sticking to it it's just that's not yeah. happening it's yeah. annoying yeah. isn't it like cuz cuz like there's so many studios on playstation who i like when i bought returnal i had to literally like it was 70 fucking pounds on the store and yeah. i had to i had to like go on some dodgy russian website where i found <laughs> like a, i i found i literally found a key for like 41 quid and had to download. I had to like put mm. my fucking bank details in. It looked at one point like my, <laughs> fucking, my bank account was getting hacked. Like, I, like for me, I just I cannot pay seventy fucking pounds for a game. I I still haven't played one of my favorite games the last ten years was Spider Man. Spider Man was oh, yeah. fucking insanely good. Yeah. I fucking blasted <laughs> that shit. It was so good. And I still haven't played Miles Morales. I know it's not seventy dollars, but I also know it's not a full game. And so, like, when I'm yeah. going on Amazon and it's still, like, oh, Jesus. And, and again, like, Ratchet and Clank, I uh, I have, I cannot tell you what a fucking fan of Insomniac I have been. I have played Insomniac games that you've never heard of. Like, I, that, that's, like, I've been an yeah. Insomniac fan for so long. Mike, and I, and I have I, to tell you, the, the six hours I played of Miles Morales, that's how long it took me to beat. Because I didn't do all the side missions now, but I did yeah. the main missions. It took me six hours. It was a phenomenal game. I'm, Very I, good. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Very but good. I also just cannot bring myself to pay these full prices they're asking. I, it's it's just uh, how how what what gives them the the belief that they can ask this amount of money. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I, like, I don't try to tell, I don't try to tell people what to do with their money, but at the same time, it, it, it sucks when I hear people defend the, cri the price increase. Well, we haven't had an increase in so many years. And I'm like, well, we haven't had microtransactions either back then. We haven't had all these DLCs <laughs> back then. Like, this is a different yeah. era. Like, this is not the yeah. same as the N64 era where a cartridge uh, would cost you 100 bucks. Like, this is completely yeah. different. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, the public... The uh, director of publishing outfit tells you that just there's, there's not much excuse there. No. Um, Danny Pan uh, Passion Official, thank you so much for the two dollar super chat. He says, I'm down to sub to a PS Game Pass like subscription service. Yes, we all are. Yes, and like Mike says, it's inevitable, it's coming. Um, Yodani, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat, guys. For Pegasus Nation, the only organic growth happens in their pants. Oh. When Sony literally does anything. You're Donny! You're Donny, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> Messy indeed. Cerebral Paul, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Shout out to him. I was in party chat with him one time playing Halo. Xbox and Sony aren't in a console war. That's a strictly fanboy construct. It'd be a better place if this would stop. That would mean there would be no more source, Cerebral. Be careful what 
you ask for. <laughs> it, it is funny though, love... isn't it? Like of all the stuff that we talk about, like it, it's one percent of people. Like it's one percent of people yeah. who are in these consoles, but uh, who who are actually these fucking whiners? But but the one but the one percent, <laughs> but it's it's how everything in the world works. Those one percent yeah, are allowed it when when there are elections happening. It's always the one percent who are online yeah. being absolute whiny bastards, but, <laughs> but they're the ones you see and you hear. Uh, yeah. So you know, it's it's what you end up. And so the, the people listen about. to though. Skew yeah. the squeakiest cog gets the and oil. It, and it is, and it is it is fun to read it all as well. I love just before I'm about to go to bed. I just love googling the word like xbox or playstation just reading some <laughs> of the fucking stupid shit that people say there's, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's so many fucking couch you know sort of couch industry veterans on, on twitter who are like <laughs> who are like tweeting the dumbest fucking <laughs> shit and you read it and you're just like this person <laughs> has oh. has zero idea about how anything works and then they've got like 500 retweets on a tweet. I know. It is, it is some dumb shit. And you can't believe it. And it, it comes on my an feed. Idea. Yeah, it gives you an idea of how many people are, are driven by the idea that a console apparently is their persona. It's yep. very yeah. strange. <laughs> very strange. It, yeah, that, that's why, so, you weird. know, sometimes I'll argue with them. And, and it's bad on me because you can't argue with stupid sometimes. Uh, yeah. Anytime. And the fact is, like, I've spoken with developers both behind the scenes and on podcasts, and, like, they'll tell me straight up the, the same things you're telling me, Mike, or telling us. And it, for, for these people to get online and say just the opposite, when the developers themselves say these things, and publishers as well, it, it's, it's just mind-boggling. It doesn't make yeah. any sense, but, you know, stupid's going to be stupid, you know? Absolutely. Well, stupid, stupid's fun as well. Stupid's fun, in fairness. I, I would say, fun. I would say that I spend a good ten percent of my week lo reading things that stupid people have written online, and it, uh, it warms my <laughs> it, wa it warms my heart. It warms my heart. It gives me it gives me something to do during these trying times. It reminds me yeah. that I'm not a fucking twat, you know, because <laughs> I could I could be them. Uh, yeah. So it's it's nice. It's it's pleasant. It yeah. It's a meta game in in itself, the console war, and I just enjoy it. Uh, just yeah, for this exact same reasons. Game over, Brian. Thank you so much for the five dollars super chat. Because Game Pass has Scarlet Nexus. The game sold poorly on Xbox before entering Game Pass. All fan by stuff aside, really believe Sony games same level as the Xbox. Um, in terms of first party, I don't know if that's the case, but fair enough. Uh, I think you'll see that level playing, hopefully leveling of that playing field this generation. The Glitch Doctor has become a part of the Game On Daily Elite. Thank you so much for your support, man. And I hope you enjoy your stay here. We have a lot more incoming. Uh, people can attest to that. Um, Risky for the Biscuit. Thank you so much. I know it's early in Australia. Thank you for the Australian $8, mate. Digital games should be cheaper. There's less cost involved for the publisher part, uh, pass on the saving. Shout out to Gaz's false teeth. They're not false teeth. They're Invisaligners. Um, stop oh, saying you that. Got, you, you got false teeth. It's great. No, I, don't. I, just, I just got new teeth. Can you, you got look? new teeth? Are you, yeah, are you yeah, veneers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we last talked, I got fucking new teeth. Look at this. Look, at, this is how he's making money. He's got a Hawaiian shit. shirt. This he's got. Like, just so everybody understands, this is because I'm British. So look, look at this. Look at, this. <laughs> look at them. They look real, don't they? <laughs> they look good, though. Look. Veneers, veneers look good. Those are very natural looking veneers because veneers Thank can you. tend to Thank look. You. When, when they do it, they're like, right, so we need to look at this chart of white to yellow. Which one will look yeah. the most natural to you? White, yellow, yellow, yeah. yellow, yellow. Yeah, probably down here, yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but they look really good. Uh, I have a rapper friend who's quite famous. He got veneers, and he's just like, he look, he opens his mouth, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it's so what I bright. Want to do. They were showing me a yeah. chart, and they were like, where do you want to go? And like down here, it was like, fucking hell. It was either, <laughs> it was either get these ones, and people are like, yeah, he ain't got real teeth. Or get one down <laughs> yeah. here where, where maybe they can tell. We us couldn't tell if you didn't tell yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, shout out. Thanks for that. You always raise the conversation, Risky, about <laughs> teeth. 
These are Invisalign. It's a straight in my shitty teeth. Um, <laughs> uh, well, sorry, I missed a super chat there. Oh, thank you, Captain Chats, for the £4.49. The more Sony ups their price and comes out with the upgrade fees, the more my stubborn side says, nope, I'm not paying those prices. No chance. I well, I hope other people have that stance as well. My camera really is shit quality. You weren't kidding, Asa. It's like three pixels there. Just put it on your face and just mime when I talk, because that's really bad. I'm not um, pretending to have, be face... responsible for anything that you say, ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Faisal, thank you so much for the £4.49 uh, super chat. Why this feels like a reunion of the in-betweeners? Why do you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, Wait, I, I take that as a compliment. Am I, am I yeah. Jay? <laughs> yeah. You're Jay. You're definitely yeah, Jay. Jay. With that Hawaiian shirt, you're definitely yeah. Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Football friend! <laughs> <laughs> Football friend! My mate went to school with him. Um, he's exactly how he is in real life, apparently. Um, <laughs> Faisal, thank you so much for that. What do you think about the new Tango game would be? Um... I have no idea. Fonz, there's talk about this tango trying to plug in the Japanese market, right? Do you have any guess? Do you care? No, I don't know. Uh, I have uh, no idea. I I assume some type of RPG. Who yeah, knows? I have no idea either. Um, Yodani joined the Game on Daily family as well. Nice. Thank you so much, man. Welcome. Welcome to the familia. Shout out to the 300 plus people watching live please smash that like button uh and uh, we get swimming to the source we we had a very long chat about uh game pass there but it's very interesting um and i think very quickly to wrap up because we've kind of gone past the two hour uh mark although i'm having a lot of fun i don't know the gents will be pushed for time I'm just conscious of that um i want to talk about very quickly konami's developing silent hill and rumors are that it's with Kojima and boom, Colin Moriarty is like, yep, that's happening. A lot of people were saying, like Jeff Grubbs had to come back and say, hey, 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 I, I still maintain that he's working with Xbox, but, you know, this could still happen. Mike, this Kojima chap, he's very, very persuasive and powerful in the gaming industry. Uh, we've had her, this talk about him joining Xbox. That would cause... Uh, some shockwaves now apparently konami because you know they have a shit relationship that's why he left konami but apparently with sony as an intermediary that could happen do you care do you look up to kojima do you really care if he goes to playstation or xbox what's your thoughts on that whole thing oh uh, i mean do you want he's alright. He's, he's alright. <laughs> I know a lot. I know a lot of people are into his games. And look, Metal Gear Solid. You know, it's uh, it, it's 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 been an amazing franchise. It really has. It, <laughs> That's such a... do, you, do you know what I mean? Like, but but at the same time. I could take it or leave it. I I, I, I would be I would be surprised um, if all of his stuff is Xbox exclusive from now on. Uh, I doubt that would happen. Because, because Apparently, they were partnering with one game. E e Xbox, are, Xbox are trying hard in Japan. You can tell they're really yeah. trying hard. But the truth is that Japanese gamers don't give a shit about Xbox. Like they, they've yeah. tried for very long. They've tried for very long. Uh, and and fair play for keeping keep keep trying, keep, try, yeah. keep trying. Uh, but PlayStation, but but Japan loves PlayStation. Is, is yeah. the truth, and it and it's going to be years before. So so in that regard, I would be I would be very very surprised if you know his games were only on Xbox for a while because that means no Japanese people are going to play them. Yeah, pretty much. about so. Game Pass, maybe I don't know, but that'd be a strong move. There, it would help Game Pass as well if the Japanese people. Oh, really it would be an incredibly. It. it would be yeah, it would be a massive move. But at the same time, like. Why would Sony not just throw a bunch of money at him then? It, yeah. it, it's 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 a it's a weird thing. Uh, yeah, I I I think it's um I, I mean it, on the on the Silent Hill stuff. I I've still never played a Silent Hill. Uh, as terrible okay. as that sounds, I I never had a I never had a PS2, uh, an original PlayStation. Uh, so I oh. never really. And then by that time, 
Silent Hill was too far down the line. So yeah. I, I couldn't get into it. But my my uh, my wife loves Silent Hill 2 so much. She She's like dressed as the freaky zombie nurse lady for Halloween. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh yeah, she's she, she, yeah she she's into that shit. Um, That's so cool. I imagine if there's a new Silent Hill game, she will one million percent Lose make it. me play that, and I will hate it because I, I actually like the Silent Hill movies. Yeah, I hate scary games as well. I'm, I yeah, bought Resident awful. Evil Seven, but I'm too much of a bitch to play that. Mm -hmm. Um, Fonz, do you have any thoughts on this Ko Kojima now working with? Konami, but with Sony as an intermediary, do you care about Kojima at all as uh, games? Kojima, um, yeah, most of his games don't really resonate with me. Uh, they're a little bit on the weird side, but yeah. Silent Hill, I do like Silent Hill. I played the games back in the day, enjoyed them. So mm -hmm. I would definitely pick up a Silent Hill, no matter what platform it's on. Uh, as Mike said, it would be really interesting if they did make something like that for the xbox platform that would be crazy yeah. but we did hear like uh back in june i believe that there was phenomenal growth within japan for xbox in the series s um don't know how many units or anything but they said that there is phenomenal growth so yeah how phenomenal is phenomenal who knows it could have went from one console last generation to now 10 i don't know but <laughs> yeah the thing is is that you know we just don't know those numbers um but I, I don't foresee, like, Kojima working exclusively with Xbox on a number of games. I don't yeah. see that. One, yeah, I, I, yes, I, maybe. Nah. One. I would say yeah. one. Yeah. Asa, you care about Kojima games? Do you care about Silent Hill? What do you think about this? It seems a bit far-fetched to me. Sony acting as an intermediary bridge to allow Konami and Kojima works on something. Sounds weird to me. It's not that far fetched. I think um, I said a while ago, um, Herman Holst put out a statement that wasn't about their partnerships and so on. He put out a statement about, I can't remember when it might have been, when they were announcing Horizon was delayed or something like that. But they mentioned their great relationships with two particular second party developers. Um, and this was a, a vetted, prepped PR statement. And the two that they mentioned were from Software and Kojima Studios. And I said at the time, like, they're doing something with those two, right? <laughs> they're doing something with those right now. So, yeah, this could be it. Um, in terms of an, an intermediary between Kojima and Konami, why not? All they're doing is like shipping over a license. Let us do a, yeah. a Silent Hill game. They don't have to sit in the same room, talk to each other, or do anything other than that. Really, Konami don't even need to know yeah. who's developing it to make that relationship happen. So, yeah, why not? Mm. Why not? That'd be interesting. Okay. Very, very good point. I didn't don't recall that. I kind of recalled that point, but yeah, the point that it was a vetted, prepared, like sculpted uh, statement. Interesting. The, the only Interesting. thing that made me kind of doubt it at the time was um, it's pretty recently they said yeah they're doing something with from from software. I believe they're doing something with from software. The Kojima one became a little bit more mudded because they said this before the announcement of direct, of um, Death Stranding director's cut. So oh. could potentially like it's hard to say at that point. Because they are yeah. definitely doing something with Kojima. Are they doing two things? Is another question. But it's very, okay. it's a very believable rumor to me. Okay, okay. Um, Seafood Poetic X Initiative. That's a dank name. Thank you so much for the ten dollars super chat. He goes, "What's up, game on? First time catching you on live. I enjoy your." Uh, first, I'm hoping you're enjoying the show. Question, if the initiative is spinning off IP, what would you like to see next? I'd like them to spin off Ninja Gaiden for Team Ninja. What's this point about spinning off IP, uh, Fonz? Have you heard he of the initiative? He, well, he's just talking about, you know, redoing Perfect Dark, I assume. Uh, oh, I see, yeah. You know, rebooting okay. that. I, I personally want a brand new IP from the initiative. Yeah. I want something brand yeah. spanking new. Um We'll see what yeah. Perfect Dark is like. I'm sure it's going to be a, a decent game. Uh, probably a really good game, considering who they're not working with as, as well. Uh, Crystal Dynamics, as, as much as people want to hate on Avengers, look at the graphics on that game. Just look at the yeah. animations. I mean, they really do quality work. There's no reason to really be upset about that situation. Yeah, so. definitely. 
definitely. Cerebral Paul, welcome to the Game On Daily family. We've got three members today. Thank you so much for joining, man. Uh, support, look, again, I have look, to repeat. Guys, his camera is getting better already. Keep it coming. Wow, it that's is. All, that's it all is. it takes. <laughs> you put money in the meat, and all of a sudden his webcam's working. <laughs> oh, man. But last final topic I wanted to talk to you about. Micros... God of War is the best video game of all time, the 2018 one, according to IGN's poll, which to me suggests that people on IGN are a bunch of. No, no, I, I, I don't know. Why have you That's... got a bleep button? I want a fucking bleep button. <laughs> That's not fair. Uh, well, you can't have one. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, actually, I was going to say, while we announced. Uh, I want to thank all the members who joined. Oh, Danny! Uh, this 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 calls for us. Sam, oh, oh, to you, oh, Danny. Welcome geez. to no, the. I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. This goes I don't well, like guys. I don't like that. <laughs> we'll be issuing refunds. Yeah, you killed the, the show. Now weeks. you're going to see them unfollow you. They're going to unjoin. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I tried to make it festive. There's other ones, but they probably sound worse. Um, but Danny, thank How you so much for festive? joining the family. Yeah. What? That is festive. That's nice. This is I don't way... think so. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, dude, that's, I my, button. Button. that's I my button. Get, <laughs> I need to get a soundboard. Well, my, I need to get a soundboard, but it's exclusively sounds of Arnold Schwarzenegger from Kindergarten. There Cop, you go. And that's all. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's amazing. the sick idea. <laughs> oh man, there's so many good quotes there from that movie. Um, God of War 2018 game of the uh, best game. Ever. What is going on at IGN? That was as a. T I'm gonna. This is. Before we get taken off air, Mike, what's your take on my God of War 2018 best game ever made? Those, those polls are always bullshit because uh, basically what they really are are which game sold the most copies. Uh, yeah. And then, and so more people vote yes on them. It's like how, uh, and I'm probably going to upset a lot of people with this now, but. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> what was that game recently? Ghost of Shishima. That yeah, was, that was that was boring. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Aso agrees with I you. <laughs> I there was I there was something it, yeah. extremely boring, and I got and I gotta say that I love uh, what they called um, the fucking people who made it. Uh, I punch. I love yeah yeah Sucker yeah punch. Sucker Punch. Yeah, I've loved all of their games before then, but something about Ghost of Tsushima was so boring like, to me. For me, for me, the combat was really good, and I I yeah. like the whole gameplay loop. I, you know, but I'm a sucker for open world games and that genre. Yeah, God of War was fantastic, though. God of War is a fantastic game. Uh, would I say it was the best of, of all time? No, no, but nah. it's up there. It's up there for me. I, I think um, we've started to. It, the thing is, years and years ago, back when I was a lad, there weren't <laughs> as many games. So yeah. the games that were held up as the games of the generation, a lot mm. of the time were like one of <laughs> twenty games that came out. So there were there were, really wasn't that yeah. many to pick from, and they did they did uh, shift generations. These days, there's so many fucking games coming out all the time, you know. And, yeah. and so, um, uh, yeah, a lot of the time when these polls happen, it is just the the last game in the last year that anyone remembers yeah. being really good, and that's the game that they pick. Yeah. The true answer to what the uh, most recent best game of all time is, of course, mm -hmm. is Hades. December? Hades <laughs> is Hades is the best video Hades. game that has. Ooh, Such a good game. I disagree. Ever been ever been made ever been made and that's all i have to yeah. say on that <laughs> Best, yeah, Hades, for, it's, it's red dead redemption for me red dead redemption too i love those games sorry yeah. that's that's my yeah hades my is the only game i've replayed again although i played it on the switch and i played on pc and then i enjoyed it more the second time around and it was some, such an incredible game one of those where you think how do they create that being that 
Hades, good. Hades everything. shouldn't be as good as it is. Uh, and I still don't that, yeah. really understand why Hades is as good as it is. And, and, it, and, it's, and I think that's one of the reasons why I think it's so good, because it baffles me. It baffles me. I look at the genre it's in. I look at what it is. Mm. And I and I've asked myself over and over, like as someone who is involved in games, why how the fuck is this game as good as it is? And I don't yeah. have an answer. And that's why for me it, it's so great. Because it's yeah. done it's just done something indescribable. Uh it's just it's perfect. Perfect, perfect yeah. video game, Hades. Perfect video game. No, I don't like roguelike games, but it is really good. Uh Hades is really the, the only roguelike game that I've liked. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It speaks yeah. a lot, honestly, because I I despise those games. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, you don't you don't really like that. So RRD in the chat says, as Le Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time." I mean, yeah, that is a better game. Like Golden Eye, come on, man, this like so it many doesn't hold to up. clarify. To clarify, was this God of War thing the greatest game of all time? All time, yeah, yeah. that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah. fuck off. <laughs> really? Yeah. That was the I'm greatest the game of all time. IGN. Right, well, this, well, this it was poll, a poll, man. Well, okay, well, it was a poll for children then. Mike, like, is, IGN. Is <laughs> Are you assuming that this is just a, a a slanted poll here? Like, Yeah. Uh, Victor, Victor, sorry, did I miss your super chat? Can you paste that again? I'm it so is. sorry. I've got, it. I've got yeah. it. So Victor's super chat oh. was um, was back on the Avengers topic, saying, "Funny twist, if Game Pass." Builds up Avengers and then Square Enix announces an Avengers 2 as a timed exclusive for the PlayStation 5. And he's asking, couldn't Game Pass restoring Avengers cost them in a potential CD um, Crystal Dynamics acquisition? Um, we, actually, we did say last week that there's the potential if Microsoft are shopping for Crystal Dynamics, there is a chance that they're at the very least going to inflate the price of them by working with them for Perfect Dark and by boosting Avengers and all the rest of it. Um, I don't yeah. think it will harm their chances of getting them. They can still afford it if they inflate it, but... Yeah. See, I still maintain that play. There is that play that they're using Crystal Dynamics with Perf Perfect Dark isn't a play to buy the team. I don't think they're trying to buy them. I, I, th I think they're just legitimately just working with them because of the relationship between Daryl Gallagher and that team he used to head. So uh, I, I just yeah. think that's all. It, all it, I it mean, is. Uh, sorry to go back to it, but look, if we're going to talk about like best games of all time, you. You have to talk about games that um, that that defined a generation, and and they and they did, and they yeah. did, they they were the first of a kind, yeah. or they were something that 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 changed everything, you know. And there's multiple yeah. games you can name that is one of those. And God of War was beautiful and gorgeous and clever. And the whole fucking, oh, it's a, it's an old man and he's got a son and the relationship. <laughs> it, it was fine, but come on. It's not a, it's not the best game of all time. Jesus You're right, God. though. What did it do? What did it do that no other game did before? What did it do? Oh, exactly. It changed it was a, perspective. It was, and... it was another open. It was a very, very well done open world game. Uh, there's Send no way I'm gonna. Board, there's yeah. no way I'm gonna shit on it. It was a. It was a great, uh, a great sort of. Yeah. It, it, it was arguably one of the best PS4 games. Uh, yeah. But but it's not fucking Tetris, is it? Like come on, <laughs> yeah. like, Tetris is better than God of War. Yeah. Like they, I know that sounds like a stupid thing to say, but 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 Tetris was era defining. Like it was. Yeah. It was. It was on a different. Oh, I'm plane. not co-signing any of this, but yeah. Fucking yeah. hell! Like yeah. hundred percent it was name. Tetris. There's games you can you name think... like that and Mario sixty four and Ocarina of Time and Tomb Raider. There's so many games you could name that yeah. were that, that define video games, and those are the best games of all time. Quake that's, that's three shits on God of War. You heard me say. But that. I would say yeah. that God of War defines uh, last generation. Like no, it, last uh, generation, sure. there's only a handful of games that really define sure. last generation. Sure, sure. There's there's definitely yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But when, but and, and that's why I was agreeing up until the point where you told me yeah. it was best game of all time, and at that point I shat myself because that that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's a ridiculous thing. To say. I agree. I think it's it's insane. Yeah. It's insane. Um, because yeah. if that's the case, we can say Pong was more impactful, you know, and Pong is it was. 
disgusting. It's horrible. <laughs> like, who wants to play that mess? <laughs> yeah, it, it, gets, it gets the point where you got to start to define the word best, really, isn't it? You know, with, yeah. Uh, but because, it you know, comes down on, on what it is, how it impacted the individual. Like, the, the, honestly. Okay, so you just mentioned the Witcher. The, the Witcher 3, 1 million percent, has impacted multiple video games since it came yes. out. Yeah. More than God of War. And so, arguably, the Witcher 3 is a better game. It, it, I agree if, with if that. You, it, oh, I don't know how we're describing what I, I, I don't agree know with how that. we're describing what best is anymore. But in the last Overwatch generation, changed the things. Three, There's the so many games. More impactful. Hundred percent. Yeah. Exactly. It just look reeks of someone who hasn't got very long tenure in gaming. Then when it, to win a poll at IGN, that's that's massive. Like uh, I don't know. That's pretty scathing of <laughs> IGN. It, it reminds me of how like when every new game comes out for playstation 4 or playstation 5 oh that's game of the year you hear people yelling game yeah, of the yeah, year game of the yeah. year whatever game it is it doesn't matter <laughs> game of the year yeah, yeah. and i'm i'm just like hold you, on you know this game has been out a week and, and it's and it's how long into the generation a few months like relax yeah i think the, it's, the, it's the generation ridiculous. defining games are on the way and they'll happen in four to five years that's when they're yeah. gonna happen and they are going to yeah. be fucking off the wall. Well, you know, at that point. Yeah. I mean, currently, Can't my favorite game of this year so far, my game of the year so far is Death's Door, an mm. indie game. Mm. I loved it. <laughs> Asa's loved it. face just dropped there. <laughs> loved it. Yeah, like I love Death Death's Door, Asa. <laughs> yeah. Phenomenal. So, Psychonauts 2 is another phenomenal game. Mm. Yeah. Which is better because of Xbox, Colin. Uh, but yeah, yeah, was, it's interesting chat. So, Asa, what's your what would you give the best game of actually before? Yeah, actually, you go for it. I know what kind of answer you can give. What's the best game of the generate of ever all time? I've got no idea. One. Fucking Ellie, no <laughs> he, he jumps a bunch of things then, didn't he? He was like, of the last year, of the generation, of all time! <laughs> <laughs> of all time. Is, it, is it like today? Is it going to be a year, this gen, last gen? All, oh, all time, right, okay. No, no idea. No idea. For me, I've got things like, um, I'd look at games going back that have defined my tastes. So these, mm. are, I'm not saying these are the best games ever. These are ones that impacted me. Are things like um, Fantasy Star Online, Rocket League, Quake 3 Arena. Halo, mm. Half Life, mm. Half Life Alex. These are yeah. phenomenal games. So, I, Half Life Alex should have been the best game of last year, in terms of doing something that other people haven't done. For that not to win Game of the Year, mm, I, I don't know. It's difficult for me to accept because that's like I know not not enough people have played it, but there's nothing like it. Yeah. It's phenomenal, and it's polished yeah. and it's brilliant. So. No, God of War is not the best game of all time. It is a phenomenal game. I love God of War. I can't wait for the next one, but best of all time. No, it's yeah. a well-executed Sony game. Yeah. yeah Ghost yeah. of Tsushima. What a... Yeah. <laughs> Death Door. <laughs> <laughs> Death Door. So you, you, know, I... you, know what's the, you know what's the ones that I've never understood? I have never understood The Last of Us. I can't. Yeah. So, so I, I've played through both of them. All the way through. Yeah. Uh... And I, and you know, I, and I played The Last of Us two recently, and yeah. uh, and they are um, they are very well polished, very well polished, good world building, but there is so much. You know, the games where you have a little bit of story, and then like yeah. Uncharted. You know, the Uncharted games where they do the yeah. thing where a little bit of story, and then it's uh, run, 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 encounter. Run, 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 encounter. Run, 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 encounter. <laughs> and they just repeat that over and over and over again. And then yeah. maybe every two hours, something exciting happens. And yeah. I am getting fucking sick of this kind of game. Like, <laughs> that, where that kind of shit happens. I, I, For me, I always feel like, imagine if like a movie was like that. You know, like, if, if, yeah. there were, if people were like, oh, this is movie of the year. And then when you watched it, it was like you had to keep waiting 20 minutes for the be for a good bit over and over again. <laughs> That's how I feel about these kind of games. Like, it's just, it's chunks of greatness sandwiched between... It kind of goes back to what we were describing earlier, you know, where they make games longer because they need to justify the price. 
I feel mm. like I feel this about so many games now. I feel like The Last of Us yeah. Two was was twice as long as it needed to be. Fuck me! Every lot, time yeah. that I every yep. time that I hoped The Last of Us was ending, it fucking wasn't, mm -hmm. and it kept going. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I literally was screaming "end" on my PS4 so many times. Oh, yeah. so People long. say that. I haven't finished that. I, haven't I, I, that. I, I preferred the first one a lot better than the second. The second yeah. was, yeah. It, it indeed was padded out at the end. It, pff, man. God, it was yeah. so long. It was yeah. so well, long. But... <laughs> oh. yeah, it's, it's like just to justify the price point uh, that's what they did, at that's that what point. They're doing, though, you know, they, they'd never say it. But it's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Just. Uh, I hate that time. I like my short games now, um, yeah. but I don't want to give them excuses to do that when they charge you seventy quid. Fon, maybe I'm part of the problem. Fons, what would you rate in some of your best time uh, of all time? As we wrap up. Well, see, I like a lot of the games that Mike here seems to not like. I like those, mo you know, those interactive movie type games a lot. You know, it seems like as I've gotten older, I gravitate mm -hmm. to more uh, of these games that have an emotional tie in or, or like I, I feel some of these games like I, I I like to feel when I play these games sure there's games I like to have fun in and just run around and do mindless stuff but mm. when games speak to me on an emotional level it's a completely different experience so yeah I do yeah. like the original last of us I didn't like two but uh Ghost of Tsushima fun game great the story was okay but yeah, that was a great game to me. God of War was great. The Witcher 3, amazing. To me, the stories and the, the side missions were just incredible. And that is yeah, definitely that one of my favorite good. games of all time, honestly, because yeah. it was so impactful with all those side missions and everything that you did was just incredible. The DLC that, that they had was incredible. So, yeah, yeah, it, it, those are some great games A lot of me. better candidates there. Definitely. And it, it, everyone has different tastes, that's for sure. Uh, I'm a multiplayer guy. I love you know my multiplayer so that yeah. quake would rank up high dean brown thank you so much for the 20 pound super chat man he goes i think it's worth bearing in mind who votes in these twitter polls there's not True. many people who were 10 year old when ocarina of time was out yes recency bias uh, that's a good term i'm going to steal that recency bias is in play red dead 2 is the best though god of war is great of course yes mm. your question yes. was horrible so you do have to answer it mm. Uh, let me go read these super chats and maybe we'll have time and <laughs> uh, we're about to wrap up um the glitch doctor thank you so much for the five euro super chat best game only makes sense to me when you divide them into genres otherwise it's like comparing apples and oranges in my opinion that's true if you're comparing them all but if the question was like overarching what was the best game ever and you're never gonna get that because it's so subjective but then the hive mind of ign agreed on a consensus and it just means they're all a bunch of yeah, you're beeping. There you <laughs> go. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where's the beep? Where's the well, beep? The, well, the magic's, this, gone. Oh, well, the magic, the magic's gone now because we've realized you're not really beeping yourself. Okay, no, I, I, I'd be careful because what I've done, because I'm so stupid, is I've sworn, well, spat every, sw sworn, then beeped late. So I said, fucking, I've just done that again. Yeah. yeah. Um, you messed up. Yeah. It's so hard. Yeah. I've got a rap, you know, then the rap day when you. Uh, my brain can't process it, but it basically doesn't bleep, <laughs> but it cuts out the voice. Um, I just can't process it. Um, Jedi Knight Peter, thank you so much for the five dollars. Australia, uh, Wolf Wolfenstein started the first person genre. Without there, there would be no Halo, Doom, or Call of Duty. Um, I wonder if that would actually be the case. Someone would probably come up with the genre, surely, or maybe it could start in a different way. I always wondered that, but it's a good point. And yeah, shout out to id Software creating dank memes. Um, and yeah, you don't need to know what my favorite game, we do. game of all time is. And <laughs> yes, yes, yes. okay, um, be there on camera until you answer. Is it is it Candy Crush? <laughs> Candy Crush. Uh, nah, nothing like that. I would. It's a close one between Ocarina of Time, Metal Gear Solid 1, Quake how, how, 3, how and old, Halo. How, how old are you, Gaz? I'm 36. Oh, man, you're well old. 
<laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, yeah, I'm about the same as you. So yeah, we 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 were we that that was us when we were kids. But every kid, you know, for a lot of kids right now, the best game of all time is going to end up being Fortnite. That's the truth. Like, there's, there's so <laughs> yeah, it's true. It. And, that, and when they're older, they're that's all a better be choice than God of War. They're going to be having no, it's not. Opinion. Oh, it is. yes, it is because it, it did is. so much. It is. Uh, okay, and I'm, say I'm no. saying that I'm saying that as someone who has never played Fortnite. Okay, I've yeah. never fucking played it, and I will tell you that Fortnite is a better game than God of War because, again, as we were just discussing, it's changed the industry. It's it it's it's industry defining it as you would not have yeah. apex legends right now if fortnite didn't exist and just yeah. for that just for that yeah fortnite is 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 just such an iconic game there's so many uh there's so many kids who now play video games there's so many parents now who are okay with their kids playing video games yeah, th then fortnite we can just exists. say that minecraft is the best game ever i wouldn't disagree yeah, you know, and, and I but I, I'm just saying, when you look at this, these types of polls, this is on an individual level. Which ones do you think are the best? And they're only giving you a, a certain amount of, you know, uh, answers here. So you're just yeah. answering A, B, C, or D, and it's like, yeah. you know, you've got a few games so what, listed. So what you're saying is the best game of all time is Roblox. Yeah, if, <laughs> I, you know, if, if, if we're going by what you're saying, yeah, then, you know. Yeah. These types of games, yeah. yeah, they do define a generation, and Minecraft definitely is one of those, Fortnite, but I can't co-sign best game ever with some of these because I hate them. <laughs> I loathe them. Like, I've I tried them. It. I remember so buying strong. Fortnite. Thanks, uh, shout out to Dealer Gaming, by the way, who talked me into buying that beta, okay? I bought a beta. I, I bought this game. I thought it was the full game. I bought it, and it said, thank you for purchasing this beta, and immediately I got so sickened by it that I freaking called up uh, Microsoft, and I got a refund. I was like, I'm not paying $40 for a beta. No. You, you, I didn't you know had it was to a beta. buy Fortnite? Oh, you yeah. bought the single player Originally, thing. it was a $40 beta. Uh yeah, it wasn't a battle royale. royale. No, it was kind of it was kind of Minecrafty as far as I remember. Kind of, you just they made your little PUBG. buildings and stuff, and you hid from the monsters when they came out, and you know it was a co-op type game. Mm. Wasn't very yeah, but good. I had, nah, yeah, that one was that they copied PUBG and then they made it what it is. But I had more moments of fun and laughter, more poignant moments there, with and. I'm a huge Apex Legends guy, like Mike says, there wouldn't be that if it wasn't arguably for Fortnite. So it's crazy. Um, but I get it. It's just like very different tastes. It's why in this group, like we're quite diverse. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's quite interesting. Stefan Boxy, thanks so much for the $2 super chat. He goes, quick question. Did y'all try PlayStation 5's new 3D audio? He says the audio guy. No. Have you tried it? You did a good audio comparison. Talking but... about, um, I did, yeah, that was through the headphones. So in the last firmware update, they put um, 3D audio through TV speakers, and they oh, promised yeah. already when the when the console came out, they promised that they'll do um, a full speaker setup, virtual surround sound yeah. thing as well, and it will never work. I don't yeah. believe them. Yeah, yeah. Like, technically, is, the, is, the, is this like how it's, is this like how there's an 8K sticker on the box for the PS5? <laughs> 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 yeah, that was making the rounds this week as well. Um, 8K gaming. Kendrick, <laughs> dealers in the chat, he calls yeah. you a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to him. Shout out to yeah, him and another Big guy fan. all day. They, they were the ones that talked me into buying that trash. Yeah. <laughs> Dealer. Uh, please, please, like please become impression. channel members. We need to buy guys a connection and batteries for his camera. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, how the fuck has your webcam got a battery in it? Is oh, it, is shit. Web, it's a DSLR. Webcam, is your webcam from the 90s? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Dealer, it's not uh, lies. Dealer. <laughs> <laughs> you got that saved oh yeah i forgot amazing cold eastwood shout yeah. out to you kedrick star thank you so much for five dollar super chat it says preach mike sony games are great stories and spectacles surrounding mediocre gameplay exceptions being god of war and horizon mike talk all the 10 games now what does that talk mean all the 10? talk all I the no 10 games that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. All the 10 games might go now. All, right, All the go. 10 games. <laughs> All the 10 games, go. 
Uh, Tetris. <laughs> uh, Snake. Uh, uh, the original Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario 64. Ocarina yeah. of Time. Uh, ch- ah, fucking uh, <laughs> shit balls. Fucking <laughs> shit balls. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, Theft Auto 4. Uh, uh, probably I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, Vice City as well. And <laughs> also, I'm gonna throw Spelunky in there. Spelunky, <laughs> genre defining. Uh, Hades is fucking in there. And the latest game that I played that is genre defining is is. is gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, the last I'm just, of us two. I'm just gonna say Valorant. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Valorant. Valorant. Valorant's not genre defined. No. Called, or as it should be called, Counter Strike with magical powers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> that's not. That's a hell lot better than what they came out with. But um, yeah, I can't go back. By oh, way. he's dead. Look at that. <laughs> God, I can't believe we've lost ah! him. What, what a we surprise. lost him. See, okay. this surprise. is what happens when you don't pay your light bill. Sorry yeah. about Valorant. I'm trying to keep talking, guys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your daddy. Uh, thank you for the two two dollar super chat. Mike could make a pixel art game clipping Gaz's camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This current one would be called Darkness, and I'd charge three three dollars three dollars on Steam for it, and it would be overwhelmingly oh, positive. <laughs> um. I don't know why it's not turning back on, but... Oh, I'm back. Yeah, oh, back. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, I did it. New battery. Um, but Thanks yeah. Um, yeah, and the connection's <laughs> crap still. Oh, my God. I haven't, I've got two power... See, look, explain. I've got two power ca- uh, ports here. How, who do I hire? To, to An electrician? I, like, I don't know who does those socket power... So yeah, it's just <laughs> Maybe it's the <laughs> internet. <laughs> anyway, uh, bad time to talk about that. <laughs> I'll sort that out later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the proper day of plan. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that was an incredible show. Went b- beyond uh, an hour and a half, but that's a great, yeah, was great funny. show. Had a lo- that was a lot of fun, and also thanks to you guys uh, in the chat. It was a lot of fun. Chronic UK is game on daily a podcast we are on spotify we are on uh apple something um and we are a news aggregation platform gameondaily.com so please do check it out uh and as i hastily do these uh outros with my poor quality camera uh i want to read out kendrick stars two dollar super chat he says talk about how games get 10 so easily nowadays we have to end otherwise we will uh keep Pay going for it perpetually pay for it <laughs> um i i feel bad now because okay very quickly tens games get tense very quickly uh very easily apparently quality bar has gone down re- critically in reviews micros go very quickly the 10 seconds Cause games, <laughs> there you go because uh, all games are perfect now yeah exactly there we go that's it um, we did that. Sorry, Kendrick Star, couldn't devote as much time as I wanted to on that. We have to wrap up. But thank you so much. And please, no more super chats um, to keep the good show going. And, I'll say um, reviewers are paid time. off. How about that? Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, reviews oh. are paid. Uh, there you go. Source. Where's my soundboard? Oh, no, it's too late for soundboard. Um, okay. Calm down, guess. It's not that critical. Jets, it's <laughs> been an incredible show it's been an incredible show i'm mindful of your time uh so i i thank you so much for joining uh and making it great in no particular order mike i hope you had a great time it's always a great time when you're on here man everyone loves the shows when you're on here and i hope you have a good time on this um tell people give us a little bit of because you guys release games so quite your workload is insane so you can give us a little bit of a hint what's happening next we got got some shit going on we've got uh (laughs) with the previously mentioned not tonight 2 is coming out soon uh there's a demo that just went live so if you'd like to play the first hour of a genre defining game uh (laughs) then just go on steam go on steam go not tonight 2 on steam Download the demo. Yeah. Fucking do it. Don't be a knob. Yeah. Go do it. <laughs> um, we've got uh, we've got another game called uh, Let's Build a Zoo. 
that's out next month. Uh, yeah. And it's, a, and, it's a, and it's a zoo building game, if you couldn't tell from the fucking title. No, I couldn't. Uh, did you, not tell? <laughs> uh, you, make, you make zoos in it. That's out next month. A lot of people are waiting for that. That's exciting. End of this month, uh, there's a huge game called Riders Republic coming out uh, on October 28th mm. from Ubisoft, uh, which, which is looking kind of interesting. Interestingly enough, there's a huge update coming to Descenders on October 28th. <laughs> uh, massive update coming to Descenders with one of the deepest discounts on the game that we've ever done. One of the biggest updates, one of the biggest discounts. Hope you all check out Descenders on October 28th and no other video game. And not and, Riders uh, Republic. <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it. That's all I got for you. <laughs> Oh, well, well, you did definitely check out Descenders if you haven't already. It's on Game Pass for the future, considering uh, what it sounds like. Micros has, has nailed a great contract. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, Fonz! Yes. Always great, brother. Uh, excellent always, chemistry. Always. I, my guess was right. You and Mike would get on. <laughs> always, man. Uh, Mike was awesome. I, I'm glad to meet him. Uh, yeah, yeah, he had a lot of great takes. Uh, and, and the chat was awesome as well. Great chat today. Oh, shout out uh, to of the course, chat. Shout out to the members. Asa was awesome as usual. Gaz, not so much, man. Uh, you were you poor form I know. today. I'm trying. Especially with those I'm buttons. Trying. Just that, No, I'm just kidding. You're always great. <laughs> uh, I love you. You know that. Um, anyways, I had a fun time with you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can catch me on Fonzarelli Gaming here on YouTube. And, of course, I'll be doing my show tomorrow, Sunday, 2 p.m., uh, Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Eastern, and 10 p.m. BST. And I will have the great Rand Al Thor on. And we all know who Rand Al Thor is, right? Press it. Here it is. Do it. Okay. If somebody wanted to hear this. The man with a ah! million. The man with a million. There. So, yeah, he'll be on tomorrow is. with me, and we'll have a great time on Games Talk Live. Yeah. And I'm going to get into the Halo Games Infinite Talk Beta Live. right now after this show. So. Me too. Me too. Thank you so much. Uh, brain cells on fire. Thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. I have to re read this out very quickly. Sony, according to Gamati, is working on Kojima on Silent Hill game, also on Metal Gear Remake. We talked about that early in the show. Yep. Uh, Listen back. And yeah, but thank you so much. Yeah, Let, let's see how that plans out because that could be quite fun. Asa, do you have anything to say to our lovely, lovely viewers who are still sticking around? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Man, so few words. Yeah, no, yeah. no, that was great. It was fun. The viewers, all right, people that are in here chatting with us are always fantastic week in, week out. People that watch it after the fact, come check us out live when you can because it's more fun when we oh, can talk back to you. People. But it's <laughs> those people. It's all right. If you already watched the show, we can say it now. It's fine. Um, check out, you don't need to wait until the 28th to check out Descenders. Go and check it out right now. Right now. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Bonds. It's been, it's been a pleasure. It's been good fun. Always is. Yeah. And over to me, I assume. Oh, yes. yes, it is over <laughs> to me. Yeah, we have more content coming. We have lots of source videos coming. Uh, massive warning. The other one is a bit more uh, adult content. So mm. if you don't like sweary words, you might not like that one. We're covering EGX this year. We're at the event this year's press. We'll be covering it. So if anyone's there at EGX, give us a shout in London. Uh, we will be doing some coverage there so we'd love to meet you guys in real life um and yeah thank you so much please check out gameondaily.com what will be a force in the industry thank you so much for the new members who became channel members it means a lot honestly it helps pay the bills because we have a lot and a lot goes into the content we create um and also your thank you continued support and lovely chat it's uh, it's been an absolute pleasure until next time please take care Hit that like button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey everyone, welcome to Go Live.
feel Dominos Maximus Aurelius Spencer But I love playing games, but I'm also a massive nerd when it comes to the tech. Someone at Sony that remembers that is going to drive a lorry through the wall and say, Hey everybody, PlayStation's <laughs> at E3, we don't hate our fans, let's go and put on their own show. <laughs> put on their own show. Is that wild enough? Yeah! Welcome to Versus! In this series, two contestants go head to head in a battle to the death! In this episode, we have two... But we're confident, you know, we're the master chief. Ish. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> that could not be better timed. 